Right, so um, today we are in Bradford. Let me look at the date. Date is Wednesday, the 16th of August, 2023. Let's get the year right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the residence of uh, Morris Powell. Yes. Morris, thank you very much for letting us use your house as a, uh, as a, a base for this interview. And we also have Patrick Lennon. Yes. Thank you very yeah. much. So guys, thank you for your time today. Um, but it was very important that we get um, this interview done, um, a very important interview um, about the Afro-Caribbean community in Bradford. So we're going to talk about today the Young Lions Cafe, which is an important community hub for the Afro-Caribbean community. Um, and uh, it was an important uh, hangout and meeting place uh, iconic meeting place for the Afro-Caribbean community, but sadly the scene of arguably probably the worst racist murder in modern times um, and uh, on a par if not worse than the murder of Stephen Lawrence and Anthony Walker. So we will talk about that uh, amongst other things today with two very distinguished members of Bradford's Afro-Caribbean community. Um, so if you would like to introduce yourself first of all, Morris. Morris, I'm Morris Powell. I did run the Young Lions Cafe for nine years. And, well, yeah. And when, so, did, you, when did you come to, to Bradford? I came to Bradford in 1967, straight ah. from Jamaica. Uh -huh. and, thing, and I've been living in Bradford more or less, most actually from since then. Yeah. And, Right, um, Patrick. I'm Patrick Lennon. Yeah. It's uh, born in Jamaica, grew up in England, came to England roughly about 70. 1970. 1970. Yeah. Lived in Bradford since I've been in this country. Uh -huh. And previously, my dad, London boy, ran the cafe. The Young Lions Cafe. The Young Lions Cafe. Yeah. And I took over it temporary after his, his passing. Right. Yeah. So, um, I just want to begin with uh, the beginnings of the cafe, Patrick, which your father started. So, when did the Young Lions Cafe actually start? When? Obviously, I was still very young when he, when he first started. Mm. It probably... 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Late 60s, early 70s. 70s. Yeah. Yeah. And because there wasn't much for, obviously at that time, there wasn't much for black people to go to our places for them to go to call their own. So obviously it served that purpose where they could go for a meal, mm. play cards, play pool, various yeah. activities. So your father, Mr. Lennon Senior, started the, the Young Lions Cafe late 60s and early 70s? Yeah, okay. yeah, approximately late 60s, mm -hmm. early 70s. This area, I grew up in this area from the age of 14. First place I land when I come to England, yes? I don't know anywhere else. This is more or less my roots in England, yeah? This is the only football black people have in the land. This is our front line. You know what I mean? We're not really doing it. You know what I mean? This is the only place we have to go. Everybody sort of meets up here, really, don't we? We all meet up here. It's just the place, really. The, the taking down the clubs, the yeah. taking the clubs away from us. There's yeah. nowhere else we can Maybe go. Our, that's why everybody exactly. comes that's here. That's why everybody comes here. <laughs> but who's gonna put it across? We know, but I'm not. But I'm piece of rubbish off the floor. Me, I stood there and told them that. They don't know nothing. I know.
when you grow up in this community and you see a, a woman with four or five kids, yeah, um, nothing to wear, etc., struggling, it's not a nice sight. So at the end of the day, a woman who goes out there, yeah, knowing that she's got dependence on her and she's prepared to go out there and sacrifice her body, which she's, which she's doing, sacrifice herself, um, I've got a lot of respect for them kind of women. No, I'm speaking, man, because I've got to speak. Right, as far as I'm concerned, right, everyone's got a choice to do what they want to do. No one forced anyone to do anything, right, round here or anywhere. All those girls out there are out there by choice. No one sends them to do it. It's money they're after, and it's money they want. That's why they go out there. People get in trouble for marijuana. And people get in trouble for the eye jokes, so if they're going to get in trouble for the law jokes, they might as well go and take the eye jokes. So Honestly, mother one, you know, you know black, like bush, weed, that sort of stuff, they should bring out legal. If they bring that out legal, I think things will change. They will. Everybody will cool down and they won't take the heavy drugs then, do you know what I mean? That's why they take the heavy drugs, do you know what I mean? That's why if they bring that shit out, bloody legal, things will change. What was Manningham like in those days? Because Manning, the Manningham today um, is predominantly Pakistani, uh, but the Manningham of the late 60s and the early 70s was different in terms of the Afro-Caribbean community. A lot of West Indian. There? Yeah, there was a lot of West Indian because when we come, we lived on a street called Carrington Street. street. And there were the Dacuses there, there were the Oxford. Oxfords. With a few more. Yeah, there's quite a lot of... Tattles and then you had tattles. Green Lane, yeah. Dominicans yeah. and... Yeah, and yeah. yeah. So and the had Dominican Green, Centre, yeah. Green Lane Youth Club. In yeah, you had Green, Green Lane. Lane. There were flats on Green Lane then. Yeah. And obviously you had a, quite a lot. So there were quite a large West Sydney community. Up Manningham. Up Manningham then. Mm. And um, so it was totally different. Yeah, it was... It was can the West Indian and the Asians actually got on mm. at that point because we growing up, you know, half the people we mixed with were Asian, so yeah. we're in and out of the houses and, mm -hmm. you know, so it was a lot different than to what it yeah. has become. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a totally different place, very mixed um, in those days. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, so um, when the cafe opened, was it primarily a restaurant? Um, what was it like when, no, it, when it first opened? No, it was it, a... It wasn't a restaurant, it was a cafe. It was a cafe, yeah. well, rather than a restaurant. Yeah. 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 People come and they chill out, have a game. They used to even play dominoes. Dominoes, yeah. Because you had a, a downstairs yeah, room and, upstairs. and you had an upstairs, upstairs room. Yeah. Yeah. And so downstairs you had a pool table. Pool yeah? table, yeah. tables obviously used to play dominoes. Yeah. If you like, it's... A chilling place. Yeah, yeah. West Indian culture is a lot of chilling, if you like. Yeah, yeah. You know, so obviously you that, can play. Yeah. So you know, the older yeah. heads would come in and they'd play domino. Well, all ages yeah. started, then, didn't it? Yeah, domino. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, it was a, a community hub basically. Yeah. 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 I yeah. 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 mean, mm. got it. I know people who used to work and they used to come just to spend an hour to hunting and yeah. they're gone. Yeah. The yeah, it's we because obviously late sixties, seventies, as mm. I said, there were very few places what we could call our own or where we could go to. Well, obviously that cafe brought the trend if you like. Yeah, yeah, that's that's interesting, yeah, yeah. So it was very important as a as a hangout and yeah. a meeting place during the day. Um, and in those days, like you said, there wasn't many hangouts or meeting places for the Afro-Caribbean community. No. It was nightclub, but that yeah. night, but during the day, there after, was nothing. Yeah. Afternoon. What, what, just, just out of interest, what were some of the nightclubs that were around in those days? Whew. When did Mayflower start? There were in the 70s, but there were before that, Bibby's. Bibby's. Sugar Cane. Oh. Sugar Cane were... Walter, yeah. Yeah, there were the, um, what they call it? Bankit, Bankit International. No, Indeed. there was international, international, international that was national. That was open from in the afternoon. Yeah, uh, and then there were Black Diamond. Yeah, that closed on in the seventies as well. Black Diamond. I, I know a bit more because I in the different, uh, yeah, beach. Different, I, yeah. I was a young man. I was a duck from my daddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Black Diamond. Was, yeah, and there was Palm Cove. Yeah, Robbie. and Robbie. He thinks he. You know, you don't open like a club, but I think it's still a, a doctor service yeah. or something. Yeah, but it's only it Asian now. Yeah. yeah. So there was a few night plays. Hmm. And these were all in Manningham. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 The man The man I brought a pump. The man flower, agents. So no, man, man flower open in the 70s. What is it? Man flower in the 70s. Man so flower, man flower, just on Manningham land. Black clubs, you had a plethora of black clubs all in just the Manningham area. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. of them. Yeah, with Manningham yeah. area. Wow, wow. wow. That all is. of them. And, and, and I suppose in those days it was important for the black and Asian population because if you couldn't go into a discotheque in town because of the well, racism, you, you could go to the black clubs because, you know, I suppose you had such a multicultural clientele. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All I like, but the younger age, after we started to kind of mix, I was going to town. I wasn't going to everything because there was some stuff. And mm -hmm. we used to go in town, but we also used to go to the... The black yeah, clubs, yeah, so. we circle it like, around the black clubs. Open up with it. Oh, we're going to say because I never, my parents never live at Manningham. They live at West Bowling. Okay. There was three black family up in West Bowling and I came from Jamaica. Uh-huh. And thing I, when time I left school, well, I did it. Thing. I find myself at Manningham. So Manningham was the hub. It does, yeah. I find, yeah. yeah. So even if you didn't bowling, live, they live there, people yeah. used to gravitate Rapid, to Manningham. Yeah, yeah. yeah. West Bowling, I was well, from. Yeah. And I had three black parents, three black family were in West Bowling. In all, the the rest of, all in the what, late 60s. There were no, even no Asian. Okay. There were no, not one person in of West Bowling. Yeah. Yeah. So I find myself, from the time I left school and begin to work, I uh -huh. find myself at Manningham. Uh -huh. Manning and yeah, yeah, draw. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. draw, yeah, 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 and different, right. so, because that's what the people, yeah, that's what the people, and then, was. yeah, when you think that to change, man, then you kind of start to split up black people, then well, Karen and street, street, when Karen Street, as I so, said, so, so, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to touch on that as well, um, so, I, I hear so much about black people being moved out of Manningham oh, no. yeah. they did, they by, by the council at first. Yeah, yeah. There's because I grew up the street where I grew up on. Yeah, well, Clarendon Street. Yeah, obviously yeah. that was just gone two minutes from the cafe. from the cafe. Uh huh. And as I said, a whole load of us black and Asian farms were on the street. I think there were only one white Polish family. Yeah, all the rest were just black and Asian families. Mm. And then. That street got knocked down then. Yeah. So if you like the black people started dive, starting dividing yeah, up, yeah. Them. There were people that moved up the roads. Yeah. Some move up roads. They made up Newby Square in it, but yeah. and put some in Newby Square. Newby, Newby Square, Square flat. Then Manchester many, Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then many of them first flat they get knocked back down because they were full of artists or something mm. and, yeah. and all that. So, so yeah, you know, if you like that was the first that was the beginning then, if you like, in of dividing of up the black communities. moving the black community out of, out of Manningham. But yeah. what was the reason the council gave for doing this? Well, the like Clarendon Street, I said it was, it wouldn't cost too much for the repairs what the house needed. Okay. But because mm -hmm. they built up Salt Street, didn't they? Yeah. Mom, they built up new there. houses, how many of them they get after to come back? Yeah. None? None. Hmm. So basically, um, they, the, the council's excuse yeah, like, it was, uh, yeah. to close Clarendon Street. The houses needed to really modernise up yeah, yeah. or so, cheaper to move people out and rebuild the area right, rather than... Yeah. So that's the reason why they compulsory purchased purchase the properties, of, yeah, properties and moved people out of the area. Yeah. Okay, so that was the beginning of the, the split of the, of the community. But still, even if people were moved out of Manningham, they still came yeah, to Manningham. Yeah. Manningham was the home. The cafe was still there, so we all yeah. we all went there. Yeah. So, you, what was the? Um, <clears throat> I hear also that obviously the cafe, you know, is growing as a you know a, a, an important hanging place and meeting place right. for the Afro Caribbean community. What was the police's attitude towards the Young Lions Cafe in the early days? I hear stories that the police would walk in and just search people randomly for no reason. I can't say that. No, I don't it's... know that. Oh. that, not, not that. Say... That's police used to come in here, but not yeah. like that. Okay. And what if that person were wanted by the police yeah. and a drug yeah. and, they, and they come in and they get it? Yeah. But the one uh, they come for a raid. Yeah. Hmm. I've been there, how many raid? Oh God, I was there with two. But before, yeah, before 
me. If, but, but you want it before me in the in the yeah. Cause you went, to went, the Yeah, because you, I think uh, you, took, you took over the cafe in '94. Is that correct? Well, no, oh, no, no I took over '94. You took over '94. '92. Check it. Yes, when it is. Yeah, when Mauricio was born. Yeah, '92. Just before Mauricio. Just before Mauricio was born. '92. '91. '91. We started doing it up back. Yeah. And take and. Winter 91, 92. Yeah. Right, right. So and then till you dated in 94, Mauricio yeah, Brown then. Born, yeah. yeah, so basically, so your family, Patrick, uh, started and your father started the cafe. Yeah. And Morris's involvement was you took over the cafe in the early 90s. You, you ran the cafe. You, well, we did it together. Together, after together. Yeah. together. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And you were also the cook as well? Cook with it, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. okay. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah, so, cook as well, but... You mean after he got or just me? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so you looked after the cafe in the latter years, in, in the 90s onwards? Yeah, well, till, till I forget then. After that, I, well, I'll explain to you. We'll yeah. Get up to that. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so the cafe is up and running. Um, important, obviously, hub for the community. Um, so what were the, some of the activities? I hear obviously you had dominoes uh, played in, 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 in the Young Lions Cafe as well. There was an important, uh, did you have domino tournaments like people come from far or was it just a daytime thing? It, well put it, okay then, they play part of dominoes. It just who's there, who won't play, they play and they challenge one another, sometimes they play money and things to pass time, control, uh -huh. yeah. domino, but mm. the they, most of the time they play for money, okay. but it just been all day, they didn't have no tournament like the pub next kind door. Of, yeah, I'm going to say, they were a pub, what? what perseverance. Perseverance. The perseverance. The perseverance, this yeah. is what you call the front line. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 so there yeah. were a they, perseverance they, pub there. Next, it was so, like 20 yards away from your place. More 20 <laughs> yards or less. <laughs> yeah, you could jump and jump yeah. in there. Like, <laughs> how can I put it? 10 seconds. You come yeah. out, less than 10 seconds walk. Yeah. You come out to the cafe. Yeah. You're in there. And pub. you're in the we place. Because yeah. yeah. the yeah. front line, I hear the front line, the Lum Lane, because obviously Young Lions Lum. Cafe was on Lum Lane yeah. in yeah. Manningham. The front line c c consisted of the Young Lions Cafe. Perseverance. In the middle was the Perseverance yes. Pub. And then to the yeah. left was the Bookies. No, all on the same yeah. All on the same parade. Yeah, but you have to. But yeah, the, the book is not be fair, but you went up, along and up a little slope, yeah. and the book is and there. The book is really there. Yeah. There was a shop there, so it was a wall, the shops. or something, and the word of night with the old people there, and the thing. even the young one with the fit on. Yeah. yeah. And just, you know, chill So that was the front line, basically. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. bus stop was right there. Yeah. There, you could see people coming up and the bus yeah, and yeah, everything. Then then. In the 70s, there was some good times. No yeah. joke, no doubt about it. There was no way like what it was later on. Later on. Yeah. But, but so, so you've got a front line, basically. Everything's within 50 yards of each other. You've got the Young Lions Cafe. You've got the Perseverance Pub, which was a, um, a Afro-Caribbean majority pub. Pub, you yes. Yeah. Well, one by the uh, English shop. lady. They were all drawn. Well, they they are, by yeah. Shirley, uh, and, and, but they have a bl oh, black guy. guy. Black guy. Right. Uh, and that was that was the front line. So yeah. so yeah, you can kind of like I don't know, spend your time in the betting shop, no gravitate drink. to the pub for a drink, <laughs> and then if you want to eat something, you just you walk to the across cafe, to the to the, the young lions. You didn't need to go anywhere else. When I remember that, because I used to work, okay, my first, I went tell you, and and telling me my way up there and thing, I'm fine or thing there. Well, I ended up all lose the Jimmy Jab and all them things because mm -hmm. going out because there were more places to go. Mm. But I couldn't see people used to come up, family, with the kids. Mm. That when they first up there in the 70s yeah. and all that, they yeah. used to come with the kids and all so that. So it was a family oh, restaurant. Yeah, yeah, well, family. Yeah, you know, that one before, you know, the teens. Yeah. And that went on for yeah. a good while. During, well, early in the June the 80s, I know the police, they did a big raid up in the June the 80s. Yeah. Mm. And the thing. But just so one thing, obviously, 
black people is associated with cannabis. Yes. yes. You know, not hard drugs, not anything. No, that was just, just weed. So, uh, yeah, at uh, any time the police came in, there were always going to be it weed. Was, you know, day or night, wherever they came in, there's always going to be somebody with a spliff or something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Which is harmless. I it's mean, harmless. It's, it's, harmless. Just, it's not it's even it, like the skunk nowadays. It was normal, it was normal, normal weed. weed, Jamaican yeah. weed, ganja, yeah. sensomelia. So, yeah. That's all it was. And so that was the hardest thing you that's ever the hardest find. Thing you're on there. the front line. Yeah. That's what you can say from the 70s up into the... Even the 80s? 80s, but, yeah. kind of, but then days, in the 80s, back in the 80s, things started to change. That was the hard mm. drug side. Yeah, yeah, yeah back in brain. then. But what just, you never even, something you never even know who's selling in weed. Mm. You know, all People, of not the any, cover, everything yeah. was... Obviously the police well, side well, targeting yeah. Because you can get a lot of English people come up. coming to buy weed. Yeah. I remember how you go, pub used to close out at 3 o'clock. Uh huh. You know, open low. In those days, the licensing place. hours, so 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the pubs but used the to close. close. But you get up at English people coming up, they used to have a club just around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that used to open from three o'clock then till uh -huh. so, so so nine yeah, o'clock. So English people that actually come there for and drink. And you know, they yeah, buy weed. Yeah, yeah. And, and there yeah. used to be a wall outside the party. Then they had they had drink the red stripe on a chair. <laughs> Even then, obviously, somebody that, used to come in a cafe buy uh, buy food, then. buy food, and and eat, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, buy yeah. the ah, weed, buy yeah, the yeah, food, yeah, then. Yeah. So eat it and eat. so it was a it was a self serving place for in terms of you, know, you can you can pass your day there. Yeah. You can, yeah. you can you can go to the bedding shop during the day you can then get a drink and pub closing hours you can go back to the betting shop or go hang out in oh, the young right. lions cafe get yeah. something to eat you wouldn't need to go anywhere well, else no. people that 50 yards is all yeah. you need to it's do it's a really yeah. right collection of even some yeah. muslims you yeah. know come came yeah. in used to come in as yeah. well yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Head, all cause they got some woods. You know, and it's still them people that yeah. being among us, us yeah. they can't grow believe with what us. happened in yeah. the 90s, the yeah. year two. So it was multicultural, you had white people, Asian, Asian people. people. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, not, in, yeah, mostly, the majority were people, but black, but you had other ones. Other were people were well. welcome, they yeah. weren't barred. Yeah. No, you know, no, people could walk in yeah. and whatever, yeah, which is yeah. which is really good. And 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 the worst thing you, that there ever was on the front line was was weed, weed. and that was it. Yeah, that uh, yeah. Weed, yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, things changed, but right yeah, on. but later on, obviously things change, and we can go into that. So you had also card games as well. Yeah, Ups yeah. Was yeah, that, that was upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs. 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 yeah. Upstairs. Upstairs. yeah. Upstairs. 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 Obviously, we're actually separate from downstairs, if you like. So yeah. upstairs, we're like and not every, I hear not, e not everyone was allowed upstairs. Like you used to get no, yeah, only only Who's people playing, who knew yeah. playing cards. Yeah, yeah, the regulars, if you like, the regulars, regulars were allowed. So it was a known you know? thing. Mm -hmm. No man off the street who was just walking in to no. buy it, buy a food or whatever could just walk upstairs. No, it no. was a selected clientele yeah, yeah, yeah. that the owners knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you could bring somebody who you know good. Yeah. And, and, then, then, you and, know, then, know, and then you would let them yeah, 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 yeah. That person, after knowing, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so that was upstairs was where the card games. Go on. Yeah. Sometimes for big money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. I see man used to come and lose the wage for it. Not like that's too below the thing. Yeah. Friday night. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, come Friday night, they'll go back yeah. till Sunday night. The night wow. And then they'll come on the flip to go to work, they buy money up front of people. <laughs> oh, that so, was... some, some, some tense guard card games as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. And sometimes a, a bit of fuss, a bit of argument, uh, you know, but it's all yeah. part of the thing. Yeah, we're all part of the with part any of problem. So I never, well, they've been one of few to argue, but no. Nothing oh, major. It's like being at back at school. Yeah. You had to find a couple of people. Yeah. And two hours later, you sat around the table with yeah. them chatting Talking. away. Yeah, yeah there yeah, was nothing. Yeah. So you had the card games and, and uh, uh, for money upstairs, the gambling. We yeah, call it the gambling. gambling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had the dominoes there as well. You had people buying food. And downstairs you had the pool table, so that was a good place to hang out. I think you had a TV downstairs yeah, later yeah, on as yeah, well. Yeah, we had the boxing, sky coming and, and all that. Yeah. Mm. Which were what pretty well. <laughs> late at night. That, uh, there's a lot of good fun, I didn't know. Yeah. Then yeah, going yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I've seen that there were flyers advertising dances oh, in the cafe. Yeah. Oh. 
I've been to a lot of reggae dance here in yeah. Spain. Uh -huh. okay. I'm saying, promote it, so come, come in with And give us tickets. And give it, yeah. Okay, so whenever there, there was a reggae this. dance or a black music dance, they would give you the tickets and your venue would be a selling place for yeah. the tickets. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, after time meant to them. Okay. there was the Mecca, Maestro. Maestro. When One time in the 90s. Dance. That was an important black club. No, 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 it was, it was a white club. club. Oh, it was a white club. But, but they had a load of black dances. A reggae, and black black reggae artists. Okay. A promoter could have yeah. hired it to have yeah. done. Uh -huh. So during the 90s, you had a whole, all the major artists down yeah. there. Yeah. Right, a right. lot of reggae yeah. down from Jamaica. You yeah. So the Young Lions Cafe, if you wanted to find out what was happening, if there was you a know. dance happening, yeah. Yeah. you could pick up the flyers, there. see the posters. Yeah. Yeah. Any, um, anywhere in the UK, if yeah. there's a dance going on, the cafe then had they, a poster they, they or a poster flyer for it. Yeah. 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 Um, there'd be a poster. Yeah. Any part in England. Yeah, yeah. So it was a good dance. Yeah, good. yeah. It had yeah. everything there that you could. Wicked, wicked. Yeah, yeah. From all over I've people. even heard a radio advert for the Young Lions Cafe. I think I sent it to you on yeah. WhatsApp. Slackness on yeah, PCR slackness radio. PCR. Well, PCR. <laughs> yeah, he used to be. Yeah. Look, he died. And look, the Mikey Roots. Mikey Roots. Yeah. Yeah. Rest, yeah. rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, man. They yeah. were two man who were great. Mikey yeah. Roots, who lived in West Bowling. Yeah. I know Mikey Ruth all his life. Yeah, yeah. Great guy, man. And, and Slack, all his brothers. And, and Clive Slack. Slackness, Big Belly, and Big uh, Belly, Belly man, Obviously, yeah. with Scorcher Sound, they're yeah, resting. Well, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, you've got plenty of advertisement on the radio. On the radio, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah the the local pirate station. Pirate station <laughs> was PCRS, wasn't it? Paradise yeah, City. Yes. Yeah. So in those days they never played much reggae or black music on the mainstream, so you needed the pirate station. Yeah, yeah. And to make a bit of money they used to record adverts for the business. For the business. To give them a little change, yeah. you know what I mean, it keeps them going. To keep them going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that was a good day. So the front line is up and running and, you know, the place to be. Yeah. You know, you've got a front line which is like a 50 yard stretch with a bookies, a pub and the cafe in a predominantly kind of uh, Pakistani area. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All around the all Governor Road, Governor Road. Street and everything, when it were all the Asians. Again, Pakistani yeah. all the way, all the West Indian But the thing is for a long time, we lived in harmony with each other. Yeah. You know, there yeah. were no issues yet. You had police attention all the time because, as I said, you always had weed there. So mm. you always, obviously, the police, police were always looking for weed. Weed. Yeah. Well, you know, you, even when you say about the search in, in the cafe, you will, you get stopped on search in town. In town mm. and places. Way, even look back long lane. Now, mm. you know, I'll you be stopped on Madiam Lane and yeah. search. Yeah. And, you, know, you, know, I, you know, I don't know how many times when I was young I get that. And were Afro-Caribbean people disproportionately stopped yeah. themselves? Well, no, no, they were yeah. target. It was the yeah. early part, I mean, we were target. We were target, yeah. Yeah. So they always used to stop and search for Oh God, yeah. yeah. Lost count of the time. Yeah, they were like, what are you searching me for? Mm. Suppose yeah. I am refused, well, we'll go down the station and search After you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We kind of did, because there was some bit of dispute and all them things. Yeah. We are even fight against policemen and all them things, thing, mm. we thing with dispute. In, this was early 80s and all that. There was yeah. a lot of dispute things and all that. Uh -huh. I remember but I mean, no city or certain stuff where yeah. we just like, yeah, just like you had in Brixton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A, a pattern yeah. that was everywhere. Chapel yeah, Town, Moss yeah. yeah. Side, all down. those places. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, in, in 81, I know what, you know. And back in 81, while there were uprisings in, no, no. in, in Manchester and no. Leeds, was there an uprising in, in Bradford? Yeah, not like all them there. Was not the extreme. No, yeah. there was a little thing going on and all that. Uh -huh. thing, and do you, remember, leave, do, you, do, you remember what hap do you remember what happened in Bradford in 81? Yeah, there was a bit of... with the police, but the more possibly what they call it, the, the march. Yeah, the them on for the Bradford 12? Yeah. 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 Okay. And, but not never really much. It wasn't really, it wasn't really, no, not like what I've got in Chapman Town. Because Bradford never had a large enough black population. In one place. To, in one to, place. To to even the whole black population of Bradford is still really tiny. Yeah, yeah. It so the police really wouldn't have a Chapel Town riot or a Moss Side riot yeah, type. Because obviously Chapel Town, you had a whole, a Chapel Town 
two more more blocks more, more yeah. together yeah. yeah more together yeah. Yeah. that time right around 81 but they had to begin to section yeah, yeah. yeah so the From community Manibor. had already shifted in 81 yeah 81 yeah. they had to yeah. shift yeah. all over yeah. yeah. bradford mm. yeah mm. they had to begin to scatter it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, and I also hear that there used to be sound system dances in the Green Lane Fields. Green Lane Fields, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah reggae sound systems, there. reggae sound <laughs> systems, yeah, yeah, like Scorcher there. and Naya Shanti okay, and all yeah, those local yeah. Bradford yeah. sound systems, they used to string up on the, the on the, the, on the playing Lane fields ideas. on yeah. Green Lane, which is just around the corner from the cafe. Uh, that was <laughs> yeah. going on all up in the 90s. I did have quite a few cooking. Selling yeah. food out there. Are you they used to call it People's Day. People's Day? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can you see can all, football matches you, you and stuff. See, I mean, there were football matches, but many people were blocked it from all over. But yeah. I can remember one year, everybody, everybody got a car scratch on yeah. the long lane. Yeah. Somebody would walk down the road or so, something. Oh, oh, we thing. don't know, but everybody come. Big scratch and the car. So people, so people would come to enjoy the reggae uh, the sound day. systems they on Green Lane, yeah. People's Day. They had their cars scratched. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember one year. Yeah, but what if you come in, you know, over you the cafe, so they did come next time. Uh -huh. And they're all on about it, not just yeah. one people, uh -huh. a whole heap of people. Yeah. Right. Well, they, they have the, you can't, you know, long lane kind of the area. Yeah. yeah. And they are, and they are, you know, yeah. park the car who were uh -huh. park on the side there. Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. So As I said, it's, it was an amazing place in itself mm. because you had, I see, you left a cafe next door with a pub. Yeah. You walk up a little slope, you had a green lane there with the bookies and everything else. Yeah, yeah. And then you walk down a banking. And then you had, because you had Green Lane School there. Yeah. And then yeah. they had a big field next to them. Yes. More, obviously like so that big field, field which yeah. is like, what, 50 oh, yards away from the cafe? That yeah. was where you had the sound system systems strung up on yeah. People's Day. Yeah. So you'd have sound systems playing reggae music, food on sale. Yeah. From the cafe, yeah. Young Lions yeah. Cafe. During the day, like the people there, they used to be our rounders. You know, kids you know you sports, sports. sports. It's a family thing. It's yeah. a family football thing. Yeah, yeah. Football yeah. Football yeah. And thing play. Yeah. You know, that's what thing you to organize. You know, like that. I said, obviously, families came down. There were bouncy castles, you know. Okay, and this this started what in the seventies or no, the eighties? No, 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 no. Late nineties. That one. Yeah, that started. No, no, the dance. No, in the eighties. Eighties. It started Think in the eighties. Football game. You to remain in a football yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. You never call people there then. Yeah, yeah. we were just. They used to get uh, Green Lane used to have a football Ball team. team. Yeah. yeah, it used yeah. to be the Afro football team that get mashed up and it didn't make create Green, Green Lane. Lane football team. So Green Lane football team was a black football team. Yes, yes. yes. I've seen photos. So yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, the Green Lane Green Lane was an important community centre for sound system dances, uh, and it was a black youth club yeah, as well. Um, Car Green Lane used to have you pop. We well, had the youth club when we were kids. In time we were younger in the 70s, Green Lane was going they used to have youth club. Yeah. yeah. We, we used, used to go to youth club over Leeds. The mm -hmm. guy used to, was a white guy, what do you call him? He used to organize our double decker bus we go to Leeds. Yeah. To the Leeds uh, youth club, other field. But uh -huh. he read. Fred, I can't remember, Fred. Fred. something like that. Yeah. And we, all, yeah. we all used to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had basketball again for one another. Uh -huh. So Green Lane basically started as a youth club and a meeting place. I hear you also had sound system dances in that yeah, night yeah, there, we did, well, reggae did, sound system did, dances. Did, I did a few and again, that was just round the corner from the bookies. So everything yeah, within everything a 50 yard, yeah, 50 50 yard, yard range. Yes. Less than five minutes walk to go to the one, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you had the, you know, obviously in the 80s you had the People's Day, which was an open air festival mm -hmm. in the playing fields, sound systems, food. Um, was there any, because uh, I was speaking to Rusty, you know, Howard, yeah. and he was telling me that at times there was kind of uh, objections from the local uh, community. Uh, and I think at one time he was saying there was a sit down protest on the road when um, obviously people were trying to stop that uh, People's Day festival. Was there any, did you find it, in those days, was there any kind of uh, opposition to you having that? No, no. no, I don't remember. Well, me, well, okay, well, that's when we say the car did more, you know, the car part of the car. The, the, yeah. the, the car started getting scratched. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, there was a lot of people who mentioned it to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. So I know that you know, so, you know, you maybe say one or two, but on ten years, loads. Loads of cars. Yeah. You know, there were a lot of people from our used to come. Yeah. They would, you know, and she would, you know. Mm -hmm. So maybe, but the sit down part where you just mentioned, mm -hmm. I don't recall okay. that. Okay, okay. But um, so there was a bit of opposition to that people. Me, I'm, oh, sorry. I know they were meeting. Yeah. To close the cafe, you know yeah. about that. Yeah. We yeah. didn't know. It was policeman made me know first. Uh -huh. The Asian or they were keeping a they were kind of community centre. They were had the one on. Yeah. And Carl and in a meeting. In the, yeah. Carl, the police, police were involved with the meeting. Hmm. So a policeman met me know. I was about to get in the cafe clothes on. Right. The me and policeman met me know and I went. Well, kind of clump. Hmm. They never mentioned about it. Hmm. We, they they been trying to look a bit thing what act, actition, what. In the opposition. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it was all about. Mm. They are, mm. But they never mention about to close the coffee. Mm. Mm. So we'll we'll go into that in more detail yeah. in, in a bit. So so far it's happy days. It is. You it know, was, you've got the front line. You got you know people playing music during the day in the fields. People well, today, you know, a hangout. You know, it's kind of lively. Not much racial well, tension no, in the, in no, at that no. time. When we had about people there. It was a thing, maybe twice a year, maybe if it yeah. did up on any field. Obviously, in the yeah. summertime. And yeah. I say it every, thing, every time we have sound out there. Uh -huh. And thing was maybe twice and, a year. And so obviously some weekend. Yeah, yeah week, uh, and maybe it was on a Sunday. Yeah. She's not working and yeah. thing. Yeah, and uh, it was during the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, like a late night. No, 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 no during no, the no. day. By around eight o'clock, everything, everything done. Everything done. Yeah. 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 summertime. And so you had all the local sounds like Scorcher sound system main, play. Main, that were mainly. They were mainly Scorcher. Scorcher, Scorcher. Yeah. they've been out of sound. Yeah. I played. Do you, yeah, do you, do you remember the other lion. sounds that used to play on People's Day? Were there any other sounds that played? They were Conquering Lion. Conquering yeah. Lion. Yes, yes. I don't know. Conquering Lion. I can't just come in and remember that. Yeah, Conquering Lion. Yeah. Nothing like that. So they were local sounds, basically. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. 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 What do you call this one from Leeds? Uh, Jungle yeah. Warrior? Is it Jungle Warrior? Or is it uh, Ma it Maverick? What's the one from Maverick? Maybe jung Jungle Warriors play up there as well before. What about the one from, what's the one from Huddersfield? Earth Rocker? Earth Rocker, yes. Yeah, yeah from, uh, from Huddersfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to think, he, he died and all, you know. He was from Leeds, own guy. Yeah, you said, and his, I can never his really son was taking over the side. Yeah. His son don't know really, his son lived in Bradford when I used to, I mean I don't know if he's got a son uh -huh. who do. Uh -huh. So yeah, so it was, um, you know, a vibrant Caribbean community, yeah. even though yeah. by that time they'd started moving the Caribbean community out, the hub it's was so, still, so, yeah, uh, so the front line was lane. still on Lum Lane, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah, was, it, uh, was, it was still, yeah, yeah. It was. But obviously over the years, the community in Manningham um, changed. So while the Afro-Caribbean community uh, were Dwindles. moved out, the area was predominantly Pakistani. Yeah, Is yeah, that yeah. correct? Yeah, Pakistani Pakistan. and Bangladesh. And Bangladesh. Yes, I that. But, but we never have no problem really from the Bangladesh. No, yeah, no. They, 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 have, they, they kill themselves to themselves. Yeah. So they, they, they have. They have to pray. I would and say they, they had the most issues, didn't they? With because the Pakistan I used to, I can't remember when the cafe had Bangladesh who complain pool. Uh -huh. so, and they used to catch an argument because they never want to. What, I said, oh, what, well, Bangladesh no, man, it is in the who yeah. put the kind of they come there? None of them rubbish in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. So basically, people used to, it was a multicultural place yeah. and everyone was welcome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was that. And um, obviously, um, black clubs and meeting places in Bradford started closing gradually, yep. didn't they? Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard about the Mayflower closing. I've heard about the Palm Cove, and did you yeah. want to go into a bit about the gradual well, closing of black pubs and <laughs> black clubs? Black Diamond. Got it knocked down, that, that get knocked down. Knocked down, down that, that, yeah. that probably never been rebuilt. That, well, that was from in the 70s. Uh -huh. that, that Diamond. Yeah. The Black Diamond Club. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't think any of them, because many people forgot about maybe yeah. that. Uh -huh. that would really What's the same thing? And that I went there before Mayflower and everything. Yeah. And the Mayflower Club was on Manningham Lane. Manningham yeah. Lane. Itself. And that closed down as well. Yeah. That yeah. closed down in the nineties, in the early nineties. Yeah, early nineties. Early kind of with the management, it kind of changed up a bit. Uh huh. And yeah. things uh, this and things so. Yeah. 
the uh, Underworld's sugar cane. That closed down? Yeah. Yeah. When did that close? When that closed? You mean the night? Yeah. He, but he, he moved. He moved in. He go, uh, well, they went hybrid. When did that objection? What the? I don't know, but he moved them to because the hybrid. Then yeah. Walter went. The problem with these clubs is mm. they're in housing estates, if you like. Right, right. So the sugar cane, you had the sugar cane around the main road. Yeah. But across the road, you had houses. Right, right. With the house on the back? No, there were just houses across the road. Yeah, just across the road. Yeah, just across the road. Remember, you know, there, you even exactly to be a book across the road by yeah. the traffic light. Yeah. Uh -huh. And thing. I don't know. And there were arcade place yes. and a shop by where the sugar By the way, there was. Mm. Yeah. And mm. thing. I don't know. Walter, they moved to where Ivy was. Yeah. Was yeah. Then, but they never called the Ivy then. No. This is on Townsend Road. Mm -hmm. And that's where they did move to. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you saw gradually the black meeting places close down. Yeah, yeah. one by one, they all side closed yeah. down. And um, so that was kind of like a big blow for a lot of people, you know, Sugar Cane, the Palm Cove and the, the Mayflower and, and places like that yeah. uh, were slowly closing. When did Green Lane, the biggest, one of the biggest blows was the Green Lane Community Centre, that, when it that closed. closed? When did that close? I even my son did something there, you service did the thing there, my, my son. Mm -hmm. yeah. When did that Yeah, because they took Marie and I know on a trip with them. Then, yeah, that was still going on after I come out of the cafe That's and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my Green Lane o o was open till the 2000s, is that the, the correct? Green Lane yeah. youth, 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 youth thing. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. That, but that actually closed down as well. The green, yes, yeah. closed, I don't know when they closed that. I was surprised yeah. because everything, there was some money spent in that place, in yeah. really. mm -hmm. all the kitchen and everything, I, that, 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 all up, I don't yeah. know what happened mm -hmm. there, yeah, why that closed down. Yeah. Because I don't know if, uh, uh, even me, a volunteer cooked some food up there after, mm -hmm. that was with our time and because yeah. there were mm -hmm. counter people and I, I did cook for. Yeah, so that, then, that, that basically closed down. So you're seeing a gradual closing of black clubs and meeting places. Who do you think is responsible for the, the closure of the black clubs and meeting places, the gradual closure? Well, how can I gonna put it? Because we some people I, are saying... I think we own a, said we got something to do with it because we just let it happen as well. We didn't fight for it. We didn't fight for it. But was it the Obviously police, the, police pressure, well, the council who, yeah. who, who were doing no, this? I think it was the in Pakistan community. Yeah, well, yeah. well wanted to close down them businesses because the, in their if, area they they want if you like it's like they well, had a petition where because they, obviously long lane used to be working girls yes yeah, and they took off it was a red light and, area yeah and they drove them off to oh. manningham lane yeah I so think. i think they want to clean up the area if you like and one yeah. way where that was to get rid of all the black clubs and stuff which obviously mm. is on ha on site is that a word? yeah you yeah, know, so, so, so basically at, at this time the Pakistani community are the majority community yeah, in London. Yeah, and obviously and they Mac wanted to change the whole flavour of the area. Yeah, yeah. And so when you've got kind of black pubs, black clubs playing music, um, the hangouts like the Young Lions Cafe and the Bookies, it doesn't, it's, 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 it's alien to it's the, alien how, to they, want, how they wanted the areas. That, yeah. is, would it be fair to say that? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Right, right. And so... Basically, the members of the Pakistani community were what, raising petitions or complaining to the police council. Um, they take petition now, we you know if they get down the prostitute after a long, day, long lane. Yeah, the prostitute. And they use one. Yeah, yeah. So what they do is they get attacked. Yeah. yeah. I know that, you know, they come in, in the idea of the coffee, came in, one of them, where they were to get slapped up. Okay. And things. So, so when one of the working girls was attacked, she sought refuge in the cafe. Yeah, she came in and yeah. thing and all that, and you know, a car used to come by for. I was going to say you used to come in for yeah. Oh, they, obviously, the working and the he left like for, the for, center for yeah, there. Yeah, used to buy drinks and food and They never trouble us, but we never. We never trouble yeah. that day. Yeah, so we don't mind. Never come spend the money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. some of them came in just for a drink and a walk. Well, of course, so so. So the Lum Lane basically was the, was the red light area, and so the, when the working girls needed to 
I don't know, I spend, drink, go to drink, the toilet go maybe, to the toilet. Or, or go yeah. to the toilet, or they, get a drink I mean, or food. They used to come into the Young yeah. Lions Cafe. You know, they know all the situation. You know, they come in, the back, they want to go, they go to it, but not in... Yeah, they, no yeah. business conducted no, there. Really it was strictly yeah. a service for them, yeah. because yeah. if the cafe wasn't there, where would they go to the toilet? Yeah, they said, yeah. Where so, would they buy food? Yeah. yeah. Because they did, they were a good spender, tell you that now. Yeah. Food. So you made your money as well from yeah. all types, yeah. of, and you didn't put, turn any hey. customer away. No oh, customer no, no. Hold on. No. Think a single, if, you, if I used to talk, you know, some of them age, I can't, you know. In the age, 70, they have to say, black guy, the, the girl they used to also for. Mm. <laughs> Back in the 80s, the 90s, it was Pakistani, Pakistani them girls was also in yeah. mm. You want a Pakistani? <laughs> so, so, the, so, the guys, so the guys who used to control the working <laughs> girls were initially, a lot of them were West Indian. Yeah, yeah. For, but yeah. At first, after, after that, it was predominantly Pakistani. Pakistani yeah. control. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so their own was running away, their yeah. own women. Yeah. 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 So, this is the irony. Mm, um, yeah. So you see, the only had look a black, that black guy who still maybe have one or yeah. and thing out there. But we know many of the Pakistan you can yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you're seeing obviously a change in the area. You're seeing black meet clubs and meeting places being petitioned to be closed by members of the Pakistani mm -hmm. community and pressure, no doubt, from the police and the council as well. Yeah. The yeah. police didn't really. My understanding from when I've spoken to people, they didn't really like seeing gatherings of black men that's, and black youth. That's true. Correct. Uh, and that's true. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, at least they didn't know where everybody is. Who was <laughs> even selling weed and yeah. think they know that, they yeah, are. Yeah, that's where the in crazy the 19, thing is. They are drugs more coming. Scared them. Yeah. Now we just... Scared everywhere. Now everyone's yeah. scattered. It's yeah. made their job harder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Which they shut, them, shut themselves on the foot, it. basically. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 So, yeah, and 95, I think it was, when the campaign to move the working girls away from Lumley. Yeah. Around yeah. that time. And yeah. they obviously used to patrol and intimidate the girls. Yeah. And they finally succeeded in moving them Don't to Thornton Road. Road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, away. So, some of the clientele that the Young Lions Cafe used to have, um, obviously, you lost some of you that You lost clientele. some of that business yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, we lost some of it, but it was still 95, still 96. You never get... The cafe was still doing a good uh, yeah. thing, mid 90s. Mm -hmm. I used to get, there were people from work, Grattan and all them things, they used yeah. to come buy food. Yeah, yeah. There were people used to ring up, I used to do that, they used to collect so. Yeah, so they used to telephone. So yeah. when, when did you, when was it open during the day? When would the cafe open? It opened, uh, it opened from 9 o'clock. From 9, nine o'clock in the morning? Nine, ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and nine went to about nine, 10 at nine. Nine, 9. 9 between, I went 9 to, I used to be there from 8 o'clock, I went 8 most time. Yeah. Started to cook. Okay. And you know, food, because I used to cook. Every day, fresh yeah. every day. Yeah, That's fresh. Really you never used to leave anything in no. storage. Every, fresh, no, everything was fresh yeah. Jamaican yeah. food. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. So what, yeah. what, what, what some of the, and what, when, when did they, you, the cafe used to close then? Uh, you, what, we, by say nine o'clock. The cafe part don't say we'll close by nine to ten. Nine to ten. Yeah. And then I, the cafe part, but upstairs we were play card. Yeah. He did, we got the regular them for the card. There yeah. were two entrances. Oh. Oh, there was two entrances. No, well, we call it with one entrance. But, but, but the cafe door and the upstairs and door, sorry. Mm -hmm. So okay. when the cafe were closed, mm. the door was and locked. So locked, locked, locked the door. There. So oh, you see, yeah. then we had to ring or knock to get in. Get in. Okay, you so, the, yeah. Yeah. so the regular, the selected few after 9, 10 o'clock, oh, they, know. they could, right. stand they they could go upstairs yeah. and play yeah. cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it was still open to the, unofficially open to the regulars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Could be yeah. 24 7. 24, so what? They used to stay up what, all night? What was the latest the card game used to go on? Like? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, I've seen people playing from our weekend. Really? From Friday till the Monday. Right. The coffee part don't stay the open on a Sunday. I used to come and clean up, clean up and yeah. prepare yeah. me, put me free there, do this. And uh -huh. on a Sunday, a man upstairs playing card. Wow. Well, you know, so so basically up until the early hours of the morning people are still playing. Yeah, sometimes yeah. not every time, because no. sometimes it they're gone. I, yeah. somebody else used to run the car and lock up for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thing and 
Right. So you used to go, but you, whoever no, you know about that, yeah. They, yeah they so whoever you yeah. trusted, yeah, yeah. you would they trust them feet. to finish yeah. their car yeah. game, they make sure everyone leaves. Yeah, they couldn't get into the coffee They couldn't get into the coffee pot just okay. upstairs. Yeah. That part yeah. for lock. Okay. And thing. But they have tea. You see, there are kitchen upstairs as well, so that had was stuff oh, up so there where kitchen, they kitchen upstairs, That's yeah. kitchen yeah. upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Where they could they like were two separate. So you had the cafe downstairs and a flat upstairs. Okay. Okay. So you had anybody snack and thing up there. Yeah. Okay. Cafe and cup of yeah. So you had a kitchen downstairs, kitchen upstairs. Where were the toilets? That's a Upstairs, upstairs, and upstairs. And so you had two toilets upstairs. as well. Yeah, right. yeah. I yeah. said upstairs were a self-contained flat. Okay, right. So if you like to gamble in the bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Bedroom, didn't it? Yeah. So no one used to live in the flat. No, no, no. one I have it. No, yeah. no, no. Okay, so no one lived there. It was just a, a just private like, room for the old. Yeah, can play the yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, yeah, Young Lions Cafe is there. Um, but you're seeing slowly changes to the area. Right. One thing I didn't ask you is what kind, what, what food did you used to prepare? You used to cook it fresh every day. So fresh. name name a lot of the favorite dishes. Okay then, shall I do that? You yeah, do you? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you start with was the porridge. Porridge. Cornmeal porridge. Cornmeal porridge. That was yeah. one of the first things I they used to people used to come in from the cornmeal porridge. Somebody who does our work, met work people from in the morning, so the first thing for it done. So the first thing I used to do, cornmeal porridge. Cornmeal. And what flavour would it just be one flavour, just cornmeal porridge? Cornmeal, yeah. You know? I know cornmeal. You know, know cornmeal. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was one of the main things. You know, obviously back with me. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was every day. Every day. I do a part. When it's done, it's done. Okay. But you used to get well, you would, you should, First come, first serve. Yeah. yeah. Carmel porridge and hard dough no bread. bread and hard dough bread. Yeah. yeah. So that's a yeah. So you you hard dough bread. Do you do you want to explain to the viewers who don't know hard dough bread what is it's hard Jamaican dough? Bread? It's bread. a Jamaican bread. It's like a okay. uncut loaf. Yeah. You know, so it's like. A, but it's very dense. Yeah, really dense, like a bagel. Yeah. Dense, very yeah, but dense. But in the shape of a bread and slices. Yes, yeah, you can right. get it square. And, one of yeah. you to have you to slice. Square one, so you can right. slice. I must admit, I made a, a terrible error of judgment when I went to Brixton. I was hungry. We were going to see David Rodigan. And uh, my friend said, look, why don't you get a patty, and a patty sandwich, a patty cool, cool uh, in bread. between two slices of hard dough bread. Oh, you can, yeah. And I said, well, one won't do. I've never had hard dough bread before. I go, let me have two. He goes, you sure? I go, yeah. Boy, two <laughs> patties under two hard dough bread, two of those. Yeah, Man, I couldn't even get drunk when I tried. You know what I mean? I was drinking all night and I couldn't, I was soaking up the alcohol. You soak it up, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. We get Okay, <laughs> we go back to the food then. Yeah. So, okay. so cornmeal porridge was the uh, first, first yeah. thing, and you, um, hmm. and you should, they, people used to have takeaways that they mainly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we take do that in a cup, a local bowl, our ukum, and turn that pot done, it's finished. But I used to do, when I'm telling food, from that with salfish and ackee, salfish and kalalo, yeah. do me curry goat, yeah. No. Chicken, curry chicken, fried chicken, fried fish. Yeah. And soup, soup of the thing, two day two days a week. Wednesday pea soup. Mm. Fry in sorry, sat there. Well we said veg soup, but you need veg because you have neck in. It's your neck by a lot of veg yeah. and fat there. Okay. So then, John, you know, Sorry, you realize which, what, when we say West Indian soup, soup, you know what West Indian soup is, don't you? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like a tomato soup, soup. but you know. No, 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 if you want to explain to the viewers. It, that got in, let me see, it got in yam, pumpkin, green banana, chocho. It, it's like it, a casserole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, that. Yeah. But until you yeah. taste it, until you fill your cup, your skellion and your scat bunny, your pepper. There's so many things gone into it. Into it. It's not yeah. just a, a simple no, slurping no. soup. <laughs> when no. you eat it's a that. soup you can chew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get the soup, yeah. you get food in your chew. Yeah. You get uh, your, like when we said, you know, we said the neck, the uh, naked <laughs> bone. Yeah. And you got the That's flavor. Yeah. Give it. Yeah. And no, people yeah. used to have that in a bowl. What? Yeah, they used to have that in a bowl. So many to bring the pot. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and we used they, to do takeaways as well in kind of. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You'd have takeaway things. I used to get all of them. Yeah, I used to get a few harder than all them things. Yeah. So you and what about desserts? Because I know there's, there's a, quite a few desserts. Yeah, well, I, I'm not a dessert person. I never come bake. I never bake. I just cook. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, and. We to go at one time we used to get from Hughes, Hughes, Hughes right. baker, the, a small independent baker, so we used to get cakes from him and yeah, yeah. We did our rhubarb and cake. Rhubarb apple, apple, apple pie, pie. Apple, apple pie, or mainly apple, apple pie. pie. You apple yeah. pie and all it was, a, it was a, it was an Afro-Caribbean baker. No, 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 no. no. See, See, it was not Afro-Caribbean no, bakers no, no, in Bradford. No, 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 no it was. But in Manchester and all them things. Yeah, but you should get stuff from. And thing. But when we use was a big baker, big apple pie. In, in yeah, the, English, baker. English, English baker. English baker. Yeah, yeah, you know, them guys who want the apple pie and custard. That's yeah. the dessert, really, and well, donuts. Yeah, and donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and donuts. <laughs> things like those. So, yeah. none again, I get the apple pie. Yeah. And yeah. mainly the regular yeah. dudes and a night after cards food. Feel it, just yeah, like yeah, sweet, yeah, 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 sweet, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, like that. Yeah. That's right. And so, you know, when you used to get all your provisions, did you used to? I know there was a Afro Caribbean grocer's called M and R stores in 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 Bradford. But did you used to? Where did you used to get all your provisions or your so, ingredients? Well, I used to do. Let we were calling guy from other field. Rice and a car. I can't remember what they call it. I can't remember his name. Rice and used to do delivery. Deliveries. Yeah, it was a wholesale. Okay. Then there was John. John. Right to get food. He's the Indian guy. Uh huh. And then he do it. He, uh, he died. I think from the sixties, one he yeah. started delivering to black farmers. Yeah. And he died now. I know his son is doing it still. Yeah. His son John still. I don't know about him. If I'm at a field, if he's still going mm -hmm. rice and. I used to get mainly a lot of West Indian drink. You would eat it have an important thing back in mm. the things. So I used to get stuff from him. So yeah. you used to get people from Huddersfield driving in with a van with with provisions. With provisions. Yeah, and yeah, you could yeah. buy wholesale for the cafe. Yeah. And you also had a, an Indian shop as well. In a, no, no, it's not a shop. It's just a, yeah, van, I think he had a, van, a big a warehouse in. No, he got in. In the Kangsta market, yeah. wholesale market, he got stolen. Oh, he's got stolen. Stole in the market. Old yeah. Yeah. So he used yeah. to come to me. Okay. And yeah. bring his stuff and uh, you get me like me yam and Everything green potato, green, green banana and mm -hmm. thing mainly from him. And mm -hmm. the other one from other people mainly drinks. Drink. Drink. I was mm -hmm. getting from him, yeah. So at this time, were there a lot of other West Indian cafes in Bradford selling West Indian food? It was well, it open up. There was the one the York, recovery bay, weren't there? One the the monkeys, yeah. That that, that was a no. Bay. I'm talking Parkers had one, didn't you? Parker and Manningham Lane. Lane. Uh -huh. yeah. And yeah. thing uh, that open on and off. One yeah. used to open. Yeah. It was open regular. Uh huh. It was open different owner. His were open later as well, weren't they? Yeah. He uh -huh. did a kind so of like they, didn't, they didn't actually clash. Mm -hmm. No, he opened. Feature that he was more for the clubs, yeah. clubs. you know, after clubs ah, and stuff. Yeah. It, especially in yeah. the dams, mm. he was opening to late, yeah. he'd have a late night. Because you had Mayflower and you had, obviously, a maestro, so you had a different clientele, mm. if you like. Yeah, yeah. So, because I didn't open the coffee pot at night, late at night. Yeah, night. yeah. so he had that custom yeah. late at night. Yeah, yeah. I think that's okay. the only one that's been on it. Them yeah, too. them were the main two yeah. mm. all the way up. Yeah. So can you think of any memorable story? I mean, we'll move on to the, some more serious topics yeah. afterwards. But uh, while uh, everything is kind of in a nice kind of the front line and the cafe are there and, you know, it's a thriving community. Can you remember any memorable or even funny stories from the young lads? <laughs> There's been a lot. There's been a lot. There's been a lot, man, a lot. It's, oh, God. It's um, <laughs> West India, we're a really crazy bunch of people. Yeah. The conversation when you when I listen to on here. Uh -huh. It's unbelievable. I can't go. <laughs> no. It's a joke. Well you know when Pogo and what it Pogo and 
Oh, God, that can't be a thing. Oh, Tommy, right. Tommy well, Pogo, who's Tommy Pogo? He passed away now. He oh, was yeah. a legend. Uh, <laughs> he was a legend. He was a local well, character. Oh, yeah, 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 he was a character. I mean, if a park were arguing over who was the oak leaves. <laughs> oh, can you hear that? Yeah, oak leaves are your feet. <laughs> Between the whole you. room, the room of people just start laughing their head off. So you can understand the, the conversation the we we'll be listening to. Sometimes mm, mm, no. I used to stand behind it and just smile on the face. I don't say everything is all good because sometimes, but most of the time, yeah, you really have to be the time. Yeah, really the time. Really the time. So much we talk, it ain't. Pogo, Pogo was a character himself. Uh -huh. It was everything Bradford. Uh -huh. yeah. Bradford City Football Club, yeah. Bradford Bulls Rugby, <laughs> you know, everything, everything Bradford, Bradford, Speedway, wow. <laughs> it was them everything people, Bradford. Them people yeah. character, even his brother. Oh. Yeah, Arthur. Arthur in, in, in court. Court, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and better, and yeah. Thing, yeah. And, but there was other people. And, but <laughs> and sometimes as the owners of the cafe, you'd have to, if there was ever a Obviously, from time to time, you get arguments oh, or yeah, disputes. Yeah. You'd have to jump in and... Yeah. What, what's yeah. some of the most challenging times where you've had to jump in as the owners in the in the? They've been... Out of... Um, I don't... Somebody with the regular them up there. Mm. They'll also help you. But if you think it's serious. Yeah. And think of, they have to have this food special on the pool table. Yeah. There's been a lot of disputes, right? disputes on the pool the table. Disputes on the pool table because they might okay. have played for even for money on the pool table. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And every time, the, time a man make the mind say, they're right. And yeah. this man say, you're wrong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe you're touching the point about and you're cheating yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, so, you know, so they can't feel what going to happen. Yeah, even, yeah. They're not even playing for money, but uh -huh. just. The pride. Just passionate about yeah, the game. The pride, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. think there been one and few of them arguments and think, but yeah, and think. But you got the backup of the regulars. Yeah, see. yeah. You'd be surprised that even before you come up from the encounters to soften, yeah. they're not the regulars have usually stepped in anyway. Yeah, and, well, and yeah, and sorted Sometimes, it out. Sometimes you know, they, I just stand and make the thoughts. You know, them <laughs> <laughs> but so far, sometimes it's fun just to listen to the yeah, arguments yeah, well, when they happen. All this from the time when me have it, I can't say anybody really do any damage to anyone or hunger till it what happened. But that different, but yeah. you, could, you know? Amongst the customers, it would have been the odd shouting who did, or disputing. Yeah, yeah. Most they, of it just shouting. Yeah, certain yeah. man where you just argument then. Yeah. And if you know about it. Everyone was well behaved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah. just, if there was ever an argument, it was over a pool yeah. game or a yeah, domino game was, or yeah, a card was, game. Yeah. And Maybe, I'm going to name some of them, they have a bit of grief and thing and all that. Yeah. And you could tell, you could feel it, feel it. Yeah, like, yeah. Atmosphere. The tension you building. It, uh, yeah. You know, but mm. thing like that, they never take it. I mean, you know, in a, in a, in a, they'd be outside me. Well, me used to make them know in here. Mm. And yeah, things, so. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, um, and I suppose if someone was coming, passing by Bradford and they were looking for someone, they wouldn't have to go far to find them. Guaranteed. <laughs> Either in I'm the bookies, the cafe, or the perseverance. This is right. <laughs> I know that a lot of people from all over mm. I met 
wa kumi na kafe chuli kafe na ina fama wewe Manchester Liverpool even two policemen come undercover we laugh at them undercover in the cafe undercover undercover were they two white police officers no one black one white but they were booking back and forth when they were asking some hey what kind of questions were they asking they asked me some question about where you know can get a good smoke and all them thing yeah i said listen i'm gonna sell food but everybody said yeah it's yeah, yeah, too obvious that was then but i know they've been undercover police before who damage to other people selling in the age uh -huh. i know about that one we what happened the what happened yeah. there what happened there yeah, I'll get arrested, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> well, the axe itself, the axe itself was road workers. Yeah. You know, so oh, the rats, okay. they were taking... The, Overalls they were wearing and old workmen's you overalls. Wearing overalls you know, and everything. And but they were for just days and days they were taking four. Taking fours. Let me tell you about the great documentary about Green Lane and the slope then all them things. Yeah. Well, in the air, it man get telling anybody come there's a cell. Yeah. On the Green Lane corner. And got, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that wasn't even in the bookies. It was just on the street. Just on the street. Yeah. Just the groups of yeah. guys used yeah. to be yeah. on the street. And the undercover police. Remember, Pete? They are selling to them inside so the pub. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was an Englishman. Yeah. But he did have a limp. Okay. And, and he dressed like a dung and out. A man. <laughs> that that people. Yeah. Uh, people uh, buy food. They said. And thing and. He was undercover. He was undercover. Oh, and then he did, and yeah. he did the way. They just paint, you know, who to take. Yeah. That's what wow. they said. He wow. got to paint. That's what the thing is. They even came, came up. They even came up on a bus, and there were police jumping off the bus. <laughs> <laughs> they did you that in the nineties, <laughs> but You've it was not completely different. Yeah. yeah. Mm. They couldn't get another undercover like how they did in yeah. the eighties. In yeah. the eighties. They tried. Yeah, people got people wary. Sus and that. Yeah, got wise. <laughs> <laughs> that is very far off about that one. Yeah. Man. The, the, I can, I, you know, we were just so comical. Yeah, you you walk past these words and every day, and you you just think, yeah, it doesn't register. <laughs> well, seventy four was then the read. Mm. Not in eight ninety four the way in ninety four ninety five. So what? what so when, when did, they, did they ever raid the Young Lions Cafe? When I was, yeah, yeah. Okay. they did more. Yeah, that's from ninety four ninety five when yeah, ninety four you came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90, yeah. That's yeah. when they did that's the raid. raid. So what, what happened during the raid then? And when they locked they locked me up fifty weekend because of you. <laughs> Make them search your car. <laughs> <laughs> that, even even then. It's they showed you the arrogance of the police. Yeah. So they came out with a bus, obviously, they all run in a truck. And obviously there's a door to upstairs. There was yeah. nobody there or anything. Yeah. And so they've got a barring room. I said, look, I've got the key here. You don't need to damage them. <laughs> yeah. And they looked at me and they just smashed the door in. You know, I said, well, there were no... Yeah. The money for that, you know. Well, me, you'll fix that all back yeah. up, you know. Yeah. But it was just a thing that... You know, I stood there, the key's here, you don't need to. Yeah, yeah. You know, and obviously, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you've ever seen a raid after police done it, so called mm. searches. Mm. Just ripped everything out. It's, it, it's deliberate. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, they were just one. pure deliberate. Oh, yeah. I said, look, I've got the keys for everything right here. You know, I'll open the doors for you, bam. Yeah. You know, same upstairs, just smashing everything up. So this well, raid this took place on a Sunday? No, no, no. no. Friday? Friday? Friday. And why yeah, with you? Yeah. Bloody Friday, yeah. And obviously, all it was were weed. Weed, yeah. Weed. So, Friday, was it Was it the afternoon or the evening? In 94. The few months, our drug, the yeah, bookie yeah. and all them, yeah. they did the, the coffee. Yeah. And the bookies, bookies all at the yeah, same time. time. And they did lock long lane off. So, yeah. they all raided, they raided the front line, basically. Yeah. 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 They, they this was 94, 95. 94. Yeah. And this was a Friday during the evening Actually, or the afternoon? Friday. Afternoon. No, the afternoon. The afternoon. The afternoon. The afternoon. The afternoon. The afternoon. And how, how did they spring the surprise? Or did they just... They come in both the coat and truck. Yeah. Truck. And a truck, yeah. And a truck. And but a you truck. didn't know from the outside it was the police? No. 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 Yeah, right. Because because of the main roads, you had buses going up and down all yeah. the time. You were working that day, you came down. I came down. I was well, working. Yeah, yeah, I yeah came you were working. He came yeah. down the afternoon. Uh huh. I can't remember anything. Yeah. yeah. So, so basically, they came in a truck. They and they, they blocked the, the, the cafe side of Lum Lane and the Green Lane side. Every entrance to 
the green lane and the cafe. Yeah. And if, if so it comes down, I'm man go lane. lane. Yeah. Governor Road. I call it half a mile away. Yeah. Block. Blocked. Yeah. yeah. And how many police are there? I don't know. Oh, there were a lot. Hundreds. hundreds. You have yeah. yeah. know the lot. I can't tell me. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and basically they sprung. You only knew it was the police when they came out of the vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got the yeah. uniform. Yeah. That yeah. And that, yeah. that, and they basically blocked off everything so no one could get Nobody away. Nobody could get out. Get out. And yeah. they did the, the bookies, the bookies and the, the Young the Lions Cafe. Yeah, the, yeah, the, 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 the pub were closed then. The Perseverance had closed Close by then. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. they'd been arrayed on the first floor. Can you draw a chemist? You could have made it up. Leave a joke shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> work out with the plenty Joe with a well, it turned in with well, a doctor than well yeah, yeah. doctor than chemist. And, and yeah. chemist, yeah. They've, yeah. Things have changed. So yeah. you were in the cafe at the time of the raid. So mm. what actually happened at the time of the raid? And how many people were in the cafe at the time? I can't say how many. There was a few. Old man Jabez. Yeah. God, they, they detect him as well. They yeah. say, oh, the, you know, you think for, you have to, you think oh, the old man drinking. Drinking, food. yeah. In yeah, the, in Jabez, the, but. That they day. took him as well. Then they yeah. took him over the weekend, yeah. yeah. Right. But. <laughs> he did have somebody we jumped with him. Yeah. Yeah. He was a little the way. So <laughs> they let him go. They never charge him. They yeah. let him go. Mm. Hunting. Yeah. So and there's a few people in the cafe. At yeah, the there's a few. Yeah. I can't say how many mm. Yeah. was in. But there were drugs mainly looking for drug sellers. Yeah. People with drugs. And, then, and so they, they, they miss all the drug sellers. What they yeah, they, they yeah. one and few they get. Poor, poor but not that. many. Not they know. what. They were this yeah. back. They were it was a disappointment to them. Yeah. Yeah. Because all they found were a few weed but Inside the coffee. Yeah. They all they find what they come in the afternoon. Uh -huh. In the afternoon, no weed a pressure work summertime really. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. The pool table nobody was even doing if they in them a plate. They was even yeah. that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. To say the plan they all so precise and then they that time they you think, well, why would you? Yeah. And they, so like you said, they kinda um they use the battering ram. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like to prove a point, you know, this I is know. what we will do. Mm. Um how can I put it? God thing would work out of hand. I have to say that. Yeah. Oh there with the with the Being, sellers, yeah, yeah. because more than more people were coming, yeah, and all that. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to find what yeah, the but it was all the on, mm. well over on. I was ashamed of some who were going on. Yeah, this and was late. Like, even our, yeah, this was in in nineteen nineties. Yeah, yeah. So the front line had changed. Yeah, yeah. you have yeah. changed. You have yeah. changed. You, well, we know things have changed, so, but you know, but some, you know, I mean, we are always saying you can do do whatever you're doing. That's your business. When it could do it better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, nothing would happen in the cafe, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, but you were associated with it. With it. I go and say, if I wanna buy a weed, I wouldn't. I, wouldn't, I didn't give a damn about that. Yeah, man, yeah. smoke and hard drugs. Yeah, yeah. crack, all, cocaine, heroin, 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 yeah, yeah. That I did that for big thumb. Yeah. No, no, no. You you turn a blind eye to weed. Weed, yeah. weed is weed. nothing. Because weed. weed yeah. 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 Because weed is all. And they all know that. And yeah. I've said that all yeah. the time. And half the police probably smoke it anyway. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. well, I know a policeman who did smoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Not, yeah. Not, not no lie. Yeah. So weed, weed was what was was kind of like you turn a blind eye to that, but later mm. it's the hard it's drug. Hard drug. What we yeah. call yeah. drugs, because weed yeah. is just a herb. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. But hard drugs, that's yeah. that that's the yeah. thing that spoiled and that crept even, in. Even 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 the charge man I smoke. But we say listen, me know why you smoke that in here, you two think. I'm true. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. True. And, true. Uh, so on that day they did the bookies as well and they must did, have yeah. rounded yeah. up a few people in the bookies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but there's only ever one raid on the young lions. No, after no the smaller one them after. Yeah. And thing. Well, there's a lot of more story because I'll look open up for it. Well, it with the trouble and all, it, everything all involved were around the drugs. Hmm. How the coffee get smashed. Yeah, yeah. Or X get dead and, the, yeah. and yeah. the car up. Yeah, yeah. It's all involved with drugs. Yeah. It? So as the 90s is creeping in, front line's getting more busier. Now, um, in, not with the right, with the wrong drug. Yeah, with the wrong drug. Yeah, with the drug. 
it's getting busier with the hard drugs. With the hard, the hard drugs. drugs. Yeah, that's what they get. Yeah. 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 The hard drugs started, one time they were kind of a bit, cool, but were getting more, more busier. More, 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 busier. Yeah. Yeah. more people with hard people drugs. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. seeing what the money was made from it. The crack cocaine and everything yeah. else. So yeah. that yeah. started taking over. Mm. But mm. that had nothing to do with the premises. It was just outside and basically, yeah. you know, obviously unfairly, the police they 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 put one into one together and they make ten. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that that had nothing to do with the cafe. It was outside, and you're not responsible for what happens outside, outside. your front door. Yeah, no, nope. I told him that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But um, did you find that uh, uh, mainly in the eighties and the seventies it was local guys yeah. on the front yeah. line? Yeah, yeah. But you just uh, new people came in. Yeah, they used to come and think people from other fields was all with him, but for them lead. Yeah, more the more nearest one to it. But you get people from Wise Field and yeah, coming yeah. past. One thing, with. one thing, right? Yeah, us West in New Jamaica, we kind of know one another from one. You have people from London and thing. Yeah, we know and thing. So they. You come have a look at work, have a look at you, because they know somebody there. Yeah. And they a connection all the way around between us. Yeah. Yeah. So those but people that, used to hang on the front line as yeah. well. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. know, they were, but we did got the regular who's there mm. with the weed business and all that. He was there, that's what I said, mm. in the seventies. You never know who sell weed. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. can just saw on that cover. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't you know. Yeah. And thing. yeah. Well, I can't even, not going to tell a lie. Well, in the 80s, people can they get an ounce of weed and they double it. More yeah. than double it, they, they know, that's where everything starts to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, 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 true. So, basically, I want to come now to the opposition to the cafe. You know, the local community. Was there a lot of people? making um, kind of like complaints about the cafe and trying to close it down. That's what I want to come to next. This is before Dexter Coleman and before the fire bombings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, well, father and I get it from police, I get it, set it up at the community centre. Yeah. They were all in a meeting about to close the cafe. When the and cafe this, was, uh, uh, this, was, this was complaints by the local Pakistani community. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah well, that's all. Was really most of what were living around there. The Bangladesh never said nothing. Right. There was a different point of view. They just keep the self to itself. Who, 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 they were living on mainly on what they call it, road. Governor Road. Governor Road, road yeah. one of the either side of the road. Governor Road, Bangladesh. Road mainly Pakistani. Yeah. yeah. Mainly Bangladesh, Bangladesh yeah. Shari. Yeah. 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 And thing. And then. Did, yeah. Yeah. That's the younger time we I know about the Asian having a meeting about the clothes on the cafe. Mm, mm. And so they, they spoke to the police and then the police spoke to you. Yeah, one police let me know. Yeah, I don't know yeah. they were supposed to be there, some big policeman who was wasn't him who let me know. Was yeah. another not policeman who in the area I used to come in the cafe because I used to say it. If you're passing by, feel free to come in and have a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah. My door is open to anybody who wants yeah, 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 yeah. that was my and what, and what year was this roughly? Was this 90s? Around uh, well, 96, 97. 96, 97. 97 yeah. yeah, somewhere yeah. around there, me time yeah, there. Three. When that, I heard about that, and yeah. I went up. Nothing, and you know, they kind of changed and they were about the neighborhood and thing and all that. They never mentioned about that they want the coffee clothes. But right. because, maybe, I was there. Yeah, yeah they was, didn't say anything in front of you no, at, the, at the meeting. Not at the meeting. I okay. never hear. <laughs> anything about it after, but mm. for what I see, what's happening, yeah, I can, you know. Mm -hmm. So you had kind of meetings with the police, but those meetings didn't come up with anything concrete. Nothing came out of those meetings that would make you close the cafe. No, no, no. Or no, even no, curb no. your closing times or whatever. No, no. And then, <laughs> well, if you get to a, a can I pull out and tell me you get dead. The police they didn't want me to pull out. They know I can't. They know that I didn't smoke weed. I mm. didn't have no. Yeah. They know I can't. Then they told me that they felt. Yeah. I didn't smoke weed, but I never smoke in public. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I never smoke more milk of weed at home. I didn't. They didn't know. Yeah. But they know that I didn't sell. I didn't. They didn't want me to come out of the cafe. Mm. 
So the police were on your side at that the, time? In the, at that time, yeah. Uh, initially. Then even then he got dead, yeah. yeah. But I have other thing to think of, so I just pulled, I said, I just turned me back. Well, maybe I was wrong and yeah. I think about it. I did they turn me back after he got dead because mm. I did got a thing to think about me and kids. Mm. No, no, I understand. So you had meetings from about 96 onwards where the local community were trying to close the cafe. That was just then. Mm. Just that one time I went and if I went again to... Yeah. Yeah, and just one thing I went mm. Mm. But also, I heard as the '90s progressed, say the late '90s, there on the front line, there was kind of tensions. I read in the Telegraph and Argos there was a standoff, where you had um, uh, people from the local, uh, the Afro Caribbean community. They had a standoff with the local Pakistani community. There was some tensions. There. Yeah, that's what I said. Before yeah. he get dead, what going on? But it, it kind of tension with the drug tension between them. It was a tension between drug gangs. Uh, it's, then, yeah. To, to go back to the beginning. Yeah. West Indians in Bradford, obviously mm. it's 70s, late 60s, 70s, mm. they've always used weed. Yes. The Pakistan community used heroin. Yes. You know, so it's all, if you like, while the police concentrated on weed, yeah. If you like, they build up and build up with their heroin and yeah. everything else. Yeah. Till you come forward, suddenly you've got the crack cocaine, crack cocaine what hits. And obviously you had the Yardies and yeah. everybody else was because there's so much money involved in crack. Yeah. Everybody's getting in there. Right. Crack, crack cocaine business. Mm. So suddenly the lines become yeah. blurred. So you've got the... Muslim community what run all the hard drugs, suddenly you've got the weed sellers going into that market because there's just so much liquor. Yeah. And yeah. obviously that creates a tension, tension then what led to all the trouble. So mm. if you light up to actually shooting and everything else, it was it's slowly like a a pot boiling away, yeah. simmering yeah. away. Yeah. And at some point it hits a boiling point. Mm. Yeah. So you had, um, obviously, the front line was dominated back in the day by Bradford guys and English guys from other cities. But you also had the Yardi phenomena in Bradford as well. That came, yeah, well, yeah. they came in, uh, it came in, in the, the 90s. 90s. Yeah, in the 90s. 90s. Yeah, a lot of Yard men um, yeah, sorry, coming, over. coming yeah. over to Bradford. And they wouldn't, you know, they, yeah, they yeah. came in the 90s. Know, yeah. Yeah. Some, I, know, I, know, I know there was someone who police run down, what they call, not, not, not. But they come with police, but not what they call them with the overstay. Oh, illegal. Oh, illegal. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what they call them oh. people who come for them? Oh, immigration. Immigration, immigration yeah. They were one and few of that, you know, taking place. Yeah. They come with police, but the immigration with them because they are. Maybe overstay they come over, over they overstay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they come for, maybe come for you two, three weeks, I don't mm, know. Mm. But they overstay and they get. Hmm. Deported back. We know that some of that did happen yeah. in the night. One thing I know about yardmen is if there's any intimidation, they don't take no rubbish. Aye, yardmen, right. yardmen will always stick up for for themselves. That's yeah. what did happen, and that's a trouble. No, you see, there was a problem. There was a big problem with the crack and the cocaine hmm. and co and not and and heroin. Heroin, yeah. Because when we get to find out of anything, all right, yardmen sell the heroin. Pakistani sell the yardman sell the crack. Yeah. Pakistan sell the urine. Uh huh. The junkies, the, the people, they more take the, the the crack, acting for urine. Right. So the yardman start to get it from the pack and selling it, and that's what the fight. So the yardmen start selling heroin. Yeah. And then, yeah. So and like they cross yeah. into their boundary. Yeah. 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 The, the people they move taking it, acting for it as yeah. well. Right. Right. So yeah. And we, but weed is still, people are still oh, using yeah, weed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's still, yeah. that's still. That will go on. That will go, go on, on. yeah. That something was not going to stop. Yeah. weed, because you know. Yeah, everyone is harmless and everyone rela relaxes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so you're seeing tensions on the front line, you're seeing new faces on the front line, you're seeing there yeah. are some yard men, yardies are moving to Bradford as well, and obviously on the front line as well. And, Obviously, they don't take no intimidation, regardless of if they're numbered, outnumbered 50 to 1. They okay. don't care. They don't care. Yeah. They will stand up for they themselves. Will, yeah. So you, and obviously you're seeing a blurring of the... Of the lines, if of you the like. Of the lines, yeah. if you like. Exactly. 
everyone, you know, because there was some guys I met who was down to there, but there was some where I know hmm. who would not take they, it. They just yes. come to make money. To make money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. they were making no oh, matter all what. Alright. Mm. That's what they realized, and that did mash up a lot. The, the front yeah. line. It did, did mash up a lot, make things bad for yeah. other mm. people, normal people. Mm. There were customers where I used to get the stuff coming because mm. of that. Mm. Mm. And I could, I could have believed it. And, and so, meanwhile, all of this was happening outside the Young Lions Cafe. Yeah. This had nothing to do with the Young Lions Cafe, but the Young Lions Cafe was witness to it because you were near, you were, because, you, you yeah. were on that because stretch of the road. Because yeah, they were black, and right, right, the yeah. cafe were black. Yeah. yeah. So, so whoever were, was on the front line would come to the cafe to buy food. Buy food. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you, the cafe was a witness to what was happening outside yeah. and the changes. And the outside. changes. Yeah. 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 So let's get that straight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 For real. So that's what happened. So a lot of tensions on the front line. Um, and so there were standoffs as well, sometimes on the street. Yeah. Between yeah. two different groups yeah, of come, people. Hang on. I, we hearing about the standoff. I can't remember Carlo, a few Carlo, the Asian come up. This is up by Green Lane. This was before the. The. Text to come. The to get killed. Yeah. And they stoned them, mash them up, mash up the car, the yard around them. Yeah. And they have to fled. Yeah. And thing. They all I know you mentioned how they pop up on Manchester Road. Mm. Yeah. Where they clash with them. Yeah. And yeah. I can't I know they did clash yeah. up on Manchester. Yeah. 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 Not really. So that, that was obviously kind. leading leading up yeah. to Dexter Coleman. But before that, uh, like a, a year before that, I think was it oh, when, the, you you were fire the cafe the truth, yeah. young was firebombed twice. No. Once with me. Once. Once with me. Okay. I was, it around, it around, it around eight months. What, well, was it June, July, just I get, yeah, with the winter. We come out steps. Yeah, I won winter time. I was in Palm Cove. Palm Cove was open then. Yeah. I was in there and I get calls from the police that they did up my number because it was, that's how come, oh, I know the stand up, that's how it come about. They phoned me, said my coffee was on fire. Hmm. Well, from the back, over the door, there were glass. Yeah. And they smashed down, petrol bombing. Mm. That, they show one into the cup, but I tied it into the tied it, but they got some bar, but they managed to smash. Mm. And the petrol bombing. Right. Well, after that, the guy, then, the yard guy, they was, they started to steal up the coffee on the night, just to make sure everything you now, for a while, that's maybe you know, about the stand up. Right. We went on for a while, and I can't remember, I can't tweet. So you get called, say they see a man with gun going in the cafe. Right. They didn't police, they just stood outside. They never did nothing. They never, the morning I went up past seven, I was at home, you know, home in bed. Hmm. Police come get me out and went to, the they did gun from the cafe, the yard guy then, who would. And the police went, they never find a gun. They hmm. church and think about country, they get a call from somebody where we know. The party cafe was all Asian who live up at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said they see gun from. There's so a the glass Asian, window. Mm. They see a gun at the glass with from the glass window there, like somebody packed a gun there. So what was the? Did the police ever go into the reason why the cafe was firebombed? <laughs> no, not really. I, the actor said, "Well, I have no idea. Well, I, well, I can't say. Maybe because because I didn't know, right?" Mm. Really. You know, but you know, every after that, and tell me th that's the reason I started to hear a few things after he get dead mm. and thing and all that. Mm. So me, I realized I put two and two together. You can see the reason. Mm. 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 What? Well, but they start, they start to take it out on the cafe, mm. Asian. Yeah. In some of them Asian lads, some of them who did it know some of the regular guys. Mm. And they got nothing to do with what they were dealing what they with. Were, yeah. dealing yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> and how much damage was done um, in the cafe? Oh, you mainly the damage of the pool table. I had to get it recovered, but mainly smoke damage. Oh, the floor was, damage, wasn't it? It yeah. was um, tiles, tiles yeah, so and it melted. Sort of light melted up yeah. like our sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. to get. Yeah, we were, we were by paint and the pipe. 
the, the water pipe, them are the toilet, mm. what they get damaged with that to get replaced, replaced, by, then replaced right. by it and paint. Uh -huh. yeah. And think that was the main thing was through the damage, yeah. what they did. Yeah. Okay, so, so um, some damage done to the cafe, but yeah, you, yeah. you managed to repair that. And yeah, how yeah, long was the cafe closed then after that? Just a few days till I get that done. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, well, all my food and all them things, because there was food I left out defrost and all them things. Yeah, yeah, so you lost a bit. Rid. You yeah. lost a bit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So things are changing for the worst on the front line. Yeah. The cafe is still thriving. You are, you are still you, not as good, not nowhere, good. nowhere near yeah. as good as where it was going. In right. the, from yeah. 98, I know things... From 1998. The fire bombing was in 99, wasn't 99, it? 99, yes. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, back but in from 98... Night, yeah, things were going, because all things were going on. Yeah. With on them the, outside. Yeah. Getting, there were people getting, coming to the cafe. Yeah. Right, you know, and people stopping them acting they don't want to buy drugs. Right. There was, you know, outside these were black the cafe. Outside yeah, the, at the yeah. door. Yeah. Yeah. These were black people were coming to the cafe. Yeah. And people asking them if they want to buy art. Before they even got into Before the cafe. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're not coming, they're not, you know. So that's and an that intimidating was, atmosphere. Yeah. 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 A lot of that. Yeah. I never let, you know. And that not, wasn't good for business, obviously. No, no. If not, there were certain people then who would were well, like that. They were just like that part was bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. So you that's know, you know, it just had, you know, cause we we did have argument. We have some discussion about all that. Cause we said many, you know, many, many there were certain lads up there who been there from time. Yeah. And I, you know, I mean, I'm not going. To, and we have argument with some of them other new faces who are just coming or selling drugs. Yeah. So that we put this foundation and you know, I'm mash it up. Yeah. Yeah. They, tried, they tried to explain to them. Mm. Yeah. You don't stop. They, you, I can't them treat people, you don't like, stop people like people walking with the kids on the street. Yeah. And asking me to want to buy drugs. Yeah. yeah you don't do we, that. No. no there was a mar well, we always say you're supposed to be a moral to everything yeah. in it. Yeah, no, true. So, yeah. no? so you see, things were getting. Mm. So this is the late 90s, and by yeah. this time. Obviously, there was three main places traditionally with the with the front line. There was the cafe, the Young Lions Cafe, which was still open. The bookies were still open. No, did they close the bookies? They right? closed the bookies by then. Had they closed the bookies did by the late nineties? Would have yeah. after a raid at the closing. Yeah. So the bookies had closed. Because I don't know, they closed. No, I no they opened me back at the front. Remember, they went all the book was on the corner, the yeah. Coma, and they opened it back by the front. Did they close it by then, back? No, because I heard when Dexter came and uh, the attack no, happened, they, they raided the book. Yeah, they were closed, yeah. then they opened me yeah. at the front. That's yeah. where Dexter wasn't yeah. get yeah. shot. So yeah. by yeah. 1999, the Young Lions Cafe was still open. open yeah. The bookies were still open, open but yeah. sadly, in the middle, the Perseverance pub, it was closed. Yeah, that the was, third that aspect of yeah. that had closed. That was closed. Yeah. When did it, that close, the Perseverance <laughs> pub? And I heard it was renamed the Drummond or something. That was the original name. No, oh, it was the Drummond. Drummond. It was the German Hotel. Yeah. yeah. That was the original name. And then German it Hotel, if you go back, then they call it Drummond. Yeah. Alan had it then, didn't he? Yeah, Alan German Fox. Hotel, that's the yeah. original. Alan Fox had it then, didn't he? Yes. I don't know about it can be an old pub, it was yeah. an old yeah, yeah Pete, you could have well, guessed the house. When people could have stayed upstairs in it. Yeah. So the pub has actually been raided and closed well before. Before all oh, this. Hang yeah. on, did it? were closed before. What? When the early. Before we have it? Yeah. When the early 90s at the pub. Yeah, was. yeah, we opened 92, yeah. So yeah. it closed in the early 90s, yeah. yeah. The Perseverance. Yeah, yeah and yeah. And that was raided. And maybe period. back in the 80s. Uh huh. He must have been closed. Because, because Alan had it, didn't he? Yeah, I can't remember Alan. Alan the ex-policeman. Alan, yeah, yeah the, Alan. Alan Fox. Yeah, that was before. Then the woman had it after. When the Shirley was running it. With that woman. No, sure, I thought Shirley had it first. 
Shirley and Audrey had it first, and then Alan took it over there. I, don't, I wanted them to, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but, that, but, it yeah. like but, the, but the pub closed in the early 90s. Yeah, sure, yeah, early, early 90s. 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So by the early 90s, it, out of the three main places on the front line, the pub had closed. Yeah, for There was just the bookies and the cafe. The cafe, and the cafe left. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you still had the Queen's pub, which is like uh, what, was... 100 yards down the road. Um, we're, we're, we're but they had the. The Queen. Queen's were top of Long Lane, wasn't it? Yeah. No, but yeah, where you say we had West the, End. You had West End Bar. Yeah. West End down below. That were so you still had a couple pub. of pubs. Yeah, yeah West, West End, End still Island. opened up. Yeah. They yeah. still opened. Cause yeah. I, even after I left the cafe, that was still yeah. open. Yeah. 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 So and you still had. Queens. So it was still, by and large, the front line was still open. And A detailed examination of the crime scene was underway today, well hidden from the public view. Police were also speaking to those who'd seen last night's violence. Witnesses say a gang of Asian youths descended on the Young Lions Cafe, which is used mainly by the local African Caribbean community, and they ransacked it. Fighting broke out with up to 50 people involved. It culminated in the shooting dead of the 27-year-old man. He's been named as Dexter Horace Coleman from West Bowling. Another African Caribbean man was also injured. Local people say the area's had drug problems for years which haven't been tackled. Last night's violence has left them shocked and angry. My kid lives down the road. He's going home, he's pedalling on his bike to go home and he can't get past because they're all fighting and carrying on. He doesn't know what's going on, he's terrified. It's not people around here. I get on with, around here, I've been living with Caribbean people, I've been living with English people, name it, and they're all like family, like family, you know what I mean? End of the day. But a lot of trouble comes from outside, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nearby, an hour earlier, a car driven by an Asian man was attacked by African Caribbean youths. Police are investigating links between the two incidents. We'd like any information on who the people who were involved in the earlier incident involved in the car were, and if anyone has information on that, please contact us. The area remains cordoned off as the search for those responsible for last night's murder continues. Inquiries were concentrated here today. As forensic examinations were carried out, officers were attempting to trace those who witnessed last night's shooting. Local people said things are getting out of hand. It is getting worse and worse by day by day. And how do you feel as a resident? Well, I'm getting older by day by day and I'm frightened by myself. I mean, it's whistling dark uh, nights. I mean, nobody wants to live in an area where, you know, sort of people are going around, you know, popping, you know, using guns. It's, you know, bad news, isn't it? When police arrived last night, they found the situation tense and one man with gunshot wounds. The 27-year-old from Jamaica was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at hospital. A second man was assaulted, though not shot, his condition stable. This cafe, pictured after a firebomb attack in September, was at the centre of the disturbance and was again badly damaged. There was uh, a serious disturbance uh, outside the cafe to start with, which spilled inside where the man was shot. Uh, a large number of, of people certainly were damaging the, the cafe, uh, upwards of 20. There were customers inside. This bookies was robbed in the aftermath of the shooting. Those who live and work here say nothing's ever done. No, nothing since this incident. I mean, we had uh, just over a year ago, and uh, you know, we asked for you know the police and the council to get involved and maybe you know find some kind of a solution to the problem we got around here. I mean, everybody knows what the problem is, and uh, you know, the community around here is being intimidated. You shouldn't be terrified going up your own street, and the people around here are terrified. It's wrong. The police should clamp down. Whatever's going on, sort it out once and for all. Just before this incident, a Vauxhall Amiga driven by an Asian man was damaged by a gang of Afro-Caribbean youths in Green Lane. Police say it may be connected and want witnesses to both. The Bishop of Bradford has appealed for calm after a weekend of violence in the city. It follows two separate incidents and comes just over a fortnight after one man, Dexter Coleman, was shot dead. Some residents living in the West Bowling area of the city have accused the police of not doing enough to crack down on crime. This report from our crime correspondent, John Cundy. A bullet hole in the wall of a house in Bradford. Cartridge marks on the road. The car in which two men were fired at. All signs of the latest in Bradford's round of shootings and kidnappings. Yeah, one lad was bad. 
who got shot on the back, both sides, two shot, and the other lad got shot on the legs. And when I uh, seen them, and they were very, very badly worried, and I says, it's best to ring the police because it's uh, not a little thing, it's a very bad thing. Residents want quicker police action even after the 16 arrests already made over the incidents. The way it's been handled at the moment, there's not a lot of police around here at the moment. I mean, it was only Saturday, so this should still be at least scouring the places, find out what's going on, but I don't see that. A lot of people worried locally? Yeah, they are, yeah. Very worried. There's a lot of people who will go out. You know, all the little people around this corner will go out at night. I think it's scandalous. Yeah. All the shootings have been going on in Bradford just lately. There have been four shootings in the past fortnight in various parts of the city. The latest came this weekend in addition to a kidnapping. A shrine marks the spot where Jamaican Dexter Coleman was shot dead. The crimes have left the city's bishop pleading for calm. There's a very real anxiety. It may be portrayed as racial violence and interracial violence, and it isn't. It is gang warfare. It is to do with a criminal lifestyle. But people are really very tired of it, and I tried publicly to articulate what they've been saying to me. But campaigners for Dexter Coleman's family are sensitive to some tensions between their minority community and Bradford's Asians. The Asian community and the Bradford community as a whole have got to find ways in which we're going to live together and, and, and benefit from a quality of life that we aspire to. We are all here to, to, to work together, we live together in peace and harmony and I think uh, this is the message that I want to get across to the local communities. Whatever the tensions, police say they're determined to hunt down Bradford's young criminal gangs. One of the men shot at uh, on Saturday was only 16 years old, so it, it's sinister, it's of great concern to us, but we're taking positive action, we're doing something about it. With the public's help, we'll get these people put away. But Dexter Coleman's shrine is a reminder of how dangerous those gangs are proving. John Cundy, BBC Look North, Bradford. People of all races took to the streets to call for peace and pay tribute to Dexter Coleman, shot dead in Lum Lane two weeks ago. We want Bradford to be a peace, peaceful community for white, black and Asian. So that's why one of the reasons we get the match. I think the actions of a few people uh, have, have shown that the, the people firing off, uh, off firearms in the street is totally unacceptable to the population. Since the killing, there's been a string of unrelated gun attacks across the city, including two drive-by shootings and an abduction. It's bad. It's bad for the area. It's bad for the community. It's bad for everybody. It's just frightening. It's really, you know, the police about all the time. You're on edge all the time. You know, wonder when it's going to kick off. The peace campaigners say they're satisfied with the police response to the unrest in the city, which has resulted in nine men appearing in court on charges of violent disorder, wounding and kidnap. But they're still appealing for help to catch Dexter Coleman's killer. The plaque is just in memory of him. Just to show that people don't forget and respect, respected him, and just let people know that we're sorry for what happened. It was a tragic incident, and we hope that nothing don't happen again. So we just wanted to make a um, a point that we're just going to put a plaque up and remember Dexter as he was. We've gone through, um, you know, the events leading up to how things were getting a bit rough. Um, on the on the front line yeah. um, and um, yeah I just want to now
talk about probably the you know the, probably the worst thing that obviously one of the worst racist attacks in the UK um, and um, obviously the events leading up to the murder of uh, Dexter Coleman so what were the events that led up to the attack on the cafe in the year 2000 July the 14th 2000 Okay. What were the events that right to know July the fourteenth? Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. What were the what events that led up to that, from your understanding? From my understanding, the argument between them were going on from Rotolia already. Yeah. And even that day was a Friday. I sure it was a Friday that day. Uh huh. But there was a dispute at a pub in Manchester Road. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah, but it had been up the afternoon. The, yeah, the, the, from Cal, the, it was some argument early on. On Green Lane? Yeah, and yeah. It the guy, same thing, Cal, the chair. Yes. Right, and as far as I know, they said they were coming back for our year and thing, but I, yeah. I didn't even have my boy then used to come up with kids. I met them and went home early. Hmm. Because of that, I met John Taxi, me here, because for our year, the stone and thing and all that. I'm in the cafe, we all up on our Green Lane. Hmm. And thing and all that. So, so basically, there was a uh, from there was a from what I've read, there was um, an argument at a uh, pub okay. on Manchester Road, uh, maybe the night before or a couple yeah, of nights yeah. before. Lifters, lifters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That there was, and that, and they came up on the day on the fourteenth of July. Yeah, they came up in the afternoon as well. Yeah. And the guy that threw up a stone so on the Green Lane corner. Green Lane, yeah. yeah. And then they had all have to that they didn't oh. even have to left the car. Yeah. Got the car being there, they have to run away from the car. Yeah. yeah. And thing. That's what I don't I, I heard all that. Yeah, I've also heard as well, yeah, there was a kind of argument on the corner of Green Lane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the guys who were the frontline regulars on Green Lane, yeah, um, chuck some stones so, at the car. Yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. Um in the afternoon. Then after that basically uh, a big uh, mob of Pakistani Yeah, they went back for reinforcement, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, well, that was in the afternoon. Yeah. It was after 7 o'clock, the, the day, it, when it happened. Right. When they all, because I can't even, the time we're having the police, I can't cover the, it was 7.37. Yeah. But everything was going on. Yeah. So let's go from the beginning then. So you had the argument on Green Lane. This is the 14th That's of July. That's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, between, okay then. I will, I will, uh, maybe after three, something to four. Yeah. I heard about what happened on Green Lane. Yeah, the, the stoning yeah. of the car. Uh, yeah, I was in the cafe. I'm going here by my mouth with people coming by and they're about it to me. Yeah. Mm. If you know what I mean. And think, all right. Later on now, it was after seven o'clock. I was in the cafe was empty because weather was nice, everybody was outside, Bucky was still going. Yeah. It was old man Jabez. It wasn't me and it was one and few not empty. There were maybe four or five people in the in cafe. In the cafe at yeah. the time. Everything nice and I was just going to eat something eating. I can't remember I was just going to get to eat. Hmm. All of a sudden a big rush took me a boop. And tell me look, X. Dexter. Well, Dexter, he was on the, the kind of some step, he was on there, lie down, we can't remember who, even who, we had to bring him in inside the cafe, but when like, that time he died, we being shot, mm. and people were rushing inside the cafe, people are run, until we tried to bolt the door, we have to run upstairs, mm. so, you know, car people are running to the cafe, the cover mm. car, the shot being fired, Right. So and this people are chased people and mm -hmm. so I couldn't see what I was in the cafe in time. I went to have a look what to try to have a but I couldn't even get outside. Mm. You couldn't see outside. I couldn't no, I would have to bring death then and we run upstairs because people were coming. Mm. There were people what was it? The door we managed to I locked the door and go go back, get the phone and ring the people there was what they call it, mesh. Yeah. Uh, wire thing and the oh, glass. Yeah. Yeah. People were it well, like it was Asian lads, they were rigging it off. Right, right. I go through the door, I run upstairs then. Yeah. And then people were throwing stuff down the step at them. And then it then, if they get the fridge. Right. So, so let me just freeze that bit. So, 
three, four o'clock, the dispute on Green Lane. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, I would say between half three to four. So, I heard about so that. Three, three or four hours later, yeah, okay, the big, yeah. big, big uh, mob comes to attack the yeah, cafe. Yeah, it had been after seven o'clock. Yeah. Well, you yeah. see a group of West Indian uh, men coming in. Running, rushing to the cafe. Running it all in one go. Go. Yeah, rush and egg. Somebody was bringing him. He'd been out of his shop. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then after the people were trying to lock the, the front door. Yeah. Egg was, and the guy was. And then after I go, my phone was behind the counter. Yeah. At the cafe. So me had to go into the cafe. <clears throat> back from the. It's, oh, oh, it's, And get my phone and ringing the police. Yeah. Uh, this was police and ambulance cars. Mm. And that. And but in time I was doing that. The whoop a lot, Asian lad, ripping the front of the cafe, the yeah. net, yeah. 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 wire. You had mesh, mesh, mesh yeah. all over, yeah. ripping, yeah. pulling yeah. it You out. managed to lock the door so they couldn't come in through yeah. the Yeah, door. well, they mashed that down yeah. in it, because yeah. they yeah. mashed up the glass and thing and yeah. all that. That get mashed up and so they get into the cafe. So by that time... I was up... Yeah, sorry, carry on, carry on. So when I seen that, no, me and uh, I trying to ring police and ambulance. Yeah. And I seen that, I leg it upstairs. Mm. And because some man, some of them even were finding out were down in the cellar. Right. Right, so I went upstairs, there were a fair few who in the cafe and upstairs. Yeah. And that's what we get the big, there's a big, them in a fridge, yeah. freezer. Yeah. And few of us lifted on the chair. Well, all the step go, you got the thing, the, you Narrow know, the tail stop. Yes. Step and you got that kind of balcony thing. So yeah. he stopped it. Yeah. He blocked it. Yes. So they couldn't get past to come okay. up. Yeah. So I'm going to, uh, I'm very forensic in my thinking. So forgive me if I pause because mm. I, I want to get the story, you know, right. correct. So basically, everyone's managed to get in. Not but everyone, but a lot of people. A lot of people. I <laughs> what, I've, what I've seen after it, it, what was going on. Yeah. So a lot of people managed to get in. The door is locked. The Most of those people are, have run upstairs now, have they? Quite a few, but all that. The door they get mashed down. The windows get so they could come. They come in the cafe. Okay. But open up. After we done, they be sneaky, and they think you can get in the backyard. Yeah. And there's a wall, and there were, there were people climbing up on the wall trying to come in the cafe to get us. We were throwing stuff from out the window, yeah. knocking them off the wall. Oh, but they couldn't cool. get up the step because so it's black. So there was a siege basically going yes. on. Yes. You there had were a, hundreds of yeah. Pakistani youths outside. Yeah. Was, uh, and on. how many West Indian people were in the cafe? I can't say how oh, many. I couldn't. I could, the whole thing was that you couldn't check. Mm. Oh, yeah, there were yeah, a few. Yeah, there were a few. few. And you were trying to stop them getting into the cafe by throwing were, yeah, the missiles were, at them. They were throwing, no, they, the part where they were throwing things thrown to the cafe. Through and the window? Upstairs in the cafe, yeah, from the back. You know, if you snake it, you go around in the back. There's yeah. a wall. Some, somebody was climbing up on the wall. Yeah. Trying to get in. So we, the stone that they throw into the cafe upstairs there from the back there, we were throwing it back, eating them off the wall. Right, right. Just there was some in. black guys, Metro. One of them, he would nearly, he nearly get caught up, nearly get killed. I was under that Asian lad who know him, stopped him from getting killed. So where was Metro when he got cornered? In the back of the yard. He was in outside. the back of the yard. Yeah, he tried to go, he didn't oh, want to, to come into, into the cafe. Coffee, that means yeah. everybody never get into the cafe because... Yeah, so he was rushed. Most I people got into the cafe, he went into the yard. Yeah, well, trying to the door that may be being locked with by time. If you have come around the back, oh, you the say, back door. door. The back yes, door. Yes, he yes. knows about the cafe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so he maybe, the back door. So he tried to get in through the back door. Uh, yeah. maybe he Not could knowing that he could have got caught on the door. There was a big snicket from there, and right? you could go up to the top. Yeah. He could have maybe even tried to, I can't say, he could have tried to run up there and get blocked up. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I know well, yeah, somebody yeah. stop him from me get stabbed up. Right, so he was I, cornered by a group of Asian lads and then... Yeah, well one of them were going, they get some licks and one of them were going to stab him and somebody, one of the Asian lads with bad of cover and stopped him. Stopped him. So yeah. he was... So he know, so these Asian lads know 
Metro. No, no, yeah, well, not just me that day. I know many of us black guys, yeah. many of them up there. Yeah. They know, mm. they know who. Yeah. But there was that. Not all of them, but some of them would, because there was a lot of them. <laughs> yes. There was a bloody lot that yeah. night day. Yeah. So, at the moment, everyone basically, apart from Metro, is upstairs. Now, well, I, I, not everyone. Some of them did I escape. If you know what I mean, there was a fair few. That, did they come out of the, was there a back window that they jumped out of in the cafe to escape? No, they didn't. No. no. The window, they never, no, but meanwhile we did get in, meanwhile we were going. Never come out, not till the police them come. Okay. Okay, everybody who get into the cafe, never get. When I get to find out, there were some people who got in and dumped stayed in the cellar. In we the did cellar. have a cellar at the cafe. Okay. And they take the bulb out. They, they had to smash the ball. Yeah. So it was pitch dark. You couldn't see nothing down there. To, just so that and to make people know no one is there. Nobody is there. there. Yeah. 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 Okay. The fellow was a fairly big fella. They smashed the light down there and they don't have the bottom. Okay. So they couldn't. So, so I didn't even know how many people were down in the cellar. But okay. when I get to find out, there were people down people there. People in the cellar and upstairs. Yeah, yeah. well, upstairs, there was a few of us in there. Yeah. So how, um, obviously at the time you've managed to lock the door, right? People are smashing the mesh downstairs and, and the window. How did you get, you got Dexter upstairs? No, no, we didn't. We got in, into the downstairs, the passageway yeah. into the cafe. Okay. We'd have to left him there. Okay, away from the missiles. Well, no, yeah, yeah the missile couldn't, but he had been shot, so he couldn't. Move him, I, if you moved him, you could. Yeah, so we left him damage. there. Yeah. So we couldn't attend to him because our life as yeah. well. So, yeah. so he was the in the safest place possible and you kind of like, um, and obviously... We'd have to, our oh, own life as you well. To, yeah, so you so, went upstairs. Yep, yeah. yeah, what I said, yeah. I was on the phone. At first I wasn't going to what, see what was going on. Because mm. I did, you know, I seen the much wire, the people, they were yeah. So I'm going to stand. There was even, I don't know, there was coffee. I don't know, up till now, I don't even know they did fire a bullet inside the cafe. Wow. Up till now, because I'm going to tell you, from, I went in for three days, the police will never see my cafe. I went in after and I just turned me back and I went. Mm. I didn't go back in. That till they hold me the, back. Yeah. Bingy didn't hold me back. Mm, mm. Long time. So. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, so you did what you could. You had a big fridge which you threw down the stairs. So well, no one could. Wedge, 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 wedge. It was wedged. Wedge, yeah. wedge, so yeah. so, so even if downstairs it. they got in through the windows or whatever, they, they, they wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be easy yeah. for them to get up the no. stairs. But they could have, what I'm saying, they could have, from the back, they tried to get up from outside. Hmm. There was a wall and yeah. they tried to climb up to come up through the back. Yeah. And then we were throwing stuff. And that, knocking them you off. defended yourself. Yeah, yeah. And we also, meanwhile, let me say about Metro, I've seen it outside there. Yeah. You know, they were lit, you know, and somebody meant to stab him. No, of course, of course. And rest in peace, Bunny, um, um, from Scorcher Sound. Um, when I was talking to him some years ago about the siege on the Young Lions Cafe, he was telling me he managed to hide under some sheets Apparently in the yard there were some sheets. I don't know about that. In the centre, no. There, there's no yard. The yeah. yard. There's a little yard. There were no yeah, in my yard. yard. Unless you meant that another garden. Garden or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some it's back garden or something. Yeah. And by the from cafe. the cafe, right. All the way up there was houses. Yeah. A lot of houses. Yeah, all the way. All the houses. Yeah. 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 Terrace houses. All the way. All the time. I think they yeah. lifted the houses, you know. Yes. I think they said they lifted the house up there, you know. Mm. Mm. I didn't have to, the square is, yeah. the square is, no, so, 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 yeah. 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 and things, so, I can't say anything about that, mm. it covered me, but they yeah. did a lot of damage downstairs, I mean, I heard they ripped out the pool table, everything, they, 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 yeah. Thing, well, they, they, yeah, well, they, they actually got in downstairs, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah they got in downstairs, yeah. that's what they smashed, there was a wooden door between them and, uh, yeah, they yeah. smashed, and yeah, they chucked the pool table out on the street, apparently. Yeah. And well, we never, after the police come and thing right, because they come, police to hold the gun in my face. Until I came out from the back and they sneaking and coming out, I was shaking at the leaf, or gun holding my feet, I had to lie down and bang. Hmm. 
And I did it. You know, I did, I did, I, well, I didn't have no bloody choice. I was freaking. How long did it take for the police to come? I heard there was they, some delay. Half an hour late. I can't do it. All it goes. Or they explain it to me. Mm. They get my call at 730, 71st one. Yeah. That's all they definitely, that's what they said to me. Yeah. Out at quarter past eight before the first police come. I phone back in between all the from the first one. Mm. But the reason why they were waiting an armed police because I mentioned them being shot. Right. So they were waiting to arm police. There were police half a mile away each. In certain minutes they were there, mm. but they couldn't come on there back till armed police uh -huh. arrived at it. We feel like some place they were coming from. Right. So they were waiting the armed so police. normally it would only take them a couple of minutes to Yeah, get you know, there. there in a couple of few minutes, <laughs> yeah. but they wouldn't come on the scene. And that allowed the mob they were black, to, yeah, to, 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 to do as much damage. Oh, they went, they went, they they went yeah. police came, like I'm more or less I was showing with the local police cars, they were just rough, you know, the, I intended they came and we realized and I, we, I climb over from the back because hmm. someone I think you couldn't get down the step, so we'd have to climb over, hmm. come down, because we were beginning to get dark then and Arca was after eight. Yeah. And thing and we put it to get and light it there. Realize, uh, you know, I, you know, I, we were the victim and thing. Yeah, and um, and, uh, and also the eyewitnesses were saying the mob were using racist names, using the N word. Yeah, yeah there was a lot of that. Yeah, and, 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 and kind of while anything. they were attacking the place, and yeah, you know, no, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, and the did, Guardian did. newspaper describes it as a race riot. You know, yeah. so there was it a was racial true. element to it. Yeah, it was a race well, riot. There mm. were people who come who were never involved with the argument between them. Then I do a lot. Yeah. Who was never in. Father, no, a five person went to prison. Mm. Me, me not add up, you know. Mm. God, you know, me a name called the right, the wrong man get who did the shoe, he never get the life. Me, I don't know. Mm. Uh -huh. So uh, the police eventually arrive, um, and by which time, uh, uh, sadly, uh, many of them have been gone. Yeah, they've gone. Maybe and the, yeah, maybe and it's too late for Dexter Coleman as well. Oh yeah, yes. Oh yes. One time we know it's after the bullet. It was a close range. It must have been. I went through him. One time we after one time we come or come Bobby Chin in there and we get and we look Bobby Chin was there. Cause it, mm -hmm. I mean, the bullet went through him uh -huh. all the way through. Yeah. We tried to what they call it, give him better life. Even the policeman tried. Yeah. And then we or we never know. We noticed when they we know it's the blood yeah, around it's the and then they will, the bullet went through him. Uh -huh. You mean like our ambulance went ambulance, so the, that's why we know it's hunting. Mm. So far we said, well boy, they, they shoot him close where we don't know if it was in front of the cafe, try to get in there to shoot him, mm. all the way from, because it started from on a green lane. Yeah. And thing, because I can't tell you, mm. who else get a, uh, I know fifth well get bad and thing and we never get stabbed. I can't tell you who else did get it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know what a man was involved out yeah, there, the yeah. green lead while I was out there cause mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's um obviously I know the cafe get wrecked. Yeah, the cafe got wrecked. Um uh, I heard obviously, you know, the obviously when the, even when the police arrived there were still people hanging around. Um, mm. So it was uh... <coughs> when they came, police and things. I know everything. It was a crime scene. Mm. They said, and they called me off all lonely, and nobody couldn't. They block it off. There were police in there for three days. Mm. Wow. So obviously, well. <laughs> yeah, that's that's obviously what happened, and then. In the days afterwards, in the aftermath, I know you said you didn't go back to the cafe after Three that. days after I went back in with uh -huh. the police and thing. Uh -huh. And after that, I did just boom. They said they did take me and they called me and they, well, they, I thought they said they helped me start out to get grant and thing to do it back up. Hmm. But one time I sit down and I think I was, a, I was, I was the man and I looked at the cafe and there was a mark on the wall and I'm thinking, is that bullet? Hmm. 
I said I could have been telling me. Uh, that's how I tell the truth that was going through my head. Mm -hmm. And I, that's when I said, oh, fuck that. You know, I got my boy, them and thing, and I went and I go look. Some other job I be hunting. Some, mm -hmm. you know, work. Yeah, yeah. Work. So well, I never look. Well, I was freaking shape. For a good mm -hmm. while I was. And there's a lot of press attention at that time. A lot of the press were around Bradford, like Channel 4 News. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, a lot of them came up, you know, my face and thing and all that. I couldn't hang with it. Mm. I couldn't hang with it. Mm. And um, also, um, while the cafe was boarded up, there was a shrine, wasn't there, to Dexter? Yeah, yeah to yeah, Dexter. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, I got some photos there, then, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I got some four that all them up today that went uh -huh. up and I take four of them thing and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think there was a makeshift shine, there were some um, posters yeah. and floral tributes, yeah. even a basketball apparently from one of the teams there. So there was a, a floral tribute there as well um, yeah. to, to Dexter Coleman. Um, yeah. And so that was obviously what happened. Lots of meetings at the community centre yeah, as well. Yeah, there was the police Bingy there. and Carl Oxford were, and Delroy Dakers were yeah. involved there. Yeah, they did. Well, they were they were Yeah, yeah. Um, they were holding meetings. They were at the community centre. They were mm. cooking some food and all them things to cook mm. a few days up. Yeah. Kind of use it as a meeting place. Yes, yeah. 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 And so what was the mood in the area? What did you see change in the area in the days afterwards? Aye, well, not at all. I just, after a couple of days, I just, I didn't kind of just tear away me. Mm. After, I did. Mm. And Patrick, your recollections of, you know, the, you, see, I, you see, when this happened, I think I was actually working away then. I'd actually come out and left the cafe altogether. And you were there. Um, okay. And right. I, I think I was working in London at the time. You were in when London they, at the time, yeah, yeah. When they had it. But, Obviously, the whole dynamic changed then. Sunday mm. wasn't a safe place anymore. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. You know, the one thing you took from it, that you'd lost that safe spot, what you had. Yeah, yeah. So, the West Indian communities. Yeah, spot. listen, right. In terms of all that happened, I told that bitch, shit, because I used to have all my, my, my boys them up there with me. Yeah. You know, not late at night, you know, especially on a Friday. Because mm. me and the mother were going together. Mm. So they used to come up and by around 7 o'clock and all them things, they used to go to, up to my mum. Yeah. And thing, every guarantee, because me and the baby mother was, so we guarantee after school, mm. bam, they, they don't look forward, playing pool and things, they don't look forward to it. Mm. Mm. After a time that happened. You never used and, to bring your children? They, no, well, I did stop, I did come out of the cafe, because I said, boy, I did, you know, you know I yeah. said, I'm not involved with their war, yeah. mm. but I mean, in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Which is such a shame. I said, my daughter mm. did the same thing, you know, she used to come up there. Yeah. You know, obviously, she, they were the only time, obviously, she tried to play pool, and you know, obviously, the people would play pool with her. And yeah, it's a family space. It's a, yeah, it's a community, you yeah, well, know. We right. had a community. You know, if you like her age and a few more with her, well, the parents used to bring their kids up, hmm. you know. But suddenly after that then, all of that changed and so suddenly you've lost that black community. Hmm. Hmm. You know. Well, you see, I see I've seen it happening, changing. Yeah. With the selling of drugs. Yeah. The I've seen it change. I don't, listen, if you want to sell it, I'm not going, but all you do it. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. It's basically, it's mm. when the two lines mm. blurred. Yeah. For years you had it run parallel. Mm. One had the hard drugs, one had cannabis. Yeah. The West Indian community had the cannabis. The cannabis. And yeah. The and even then the police concentrated so much on the cannabis. On the cannabis. So and the 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 oh, sorry. But the police can't say, I've got to say one thing. They concentrate on just black people, man. Yeah. Because mm. even, even before, I mean, I'll say even the charash come from Pakistan. Yeah. yeah. But the black man used to get drink, used to get rid of it for them. But yeah. they never concentrate on no Pakistan then. It's not there was something on. about black people hanging around ah. together which they found <laughs> intimidating. Well, that's a danger. We were it's targeted danger. by them. Yeah. Now I'm not going to lie and the reason, we were definitely they saw a group of black people they saw danger. And yeah. then, yeah. 
the we were taught more yeah. then. And then the other western guy them who were coming later on with the drugs and some of them were just people of the street maybe from back home who didn't give a damn how they yeah, said yard men. Yeah. yeah. They never give a damn how they do. It's not just, just yard men. Just it's all the people what from here and yeah, well, some of them get involved. Suddenly you can so well the younger I people I can buy an yeah. ounce of crack and they can trouble me money overnight. Yeah. So Suddenly, right. that's where the pen, more that's more where the pennies okay, are. Yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah. Then. All right. Yeah. Now you see the difference. Mm. Yeah. For what you know, you know, I know. They never had weed. People. You're making pennies. Complete. Mm. Now, so they crack. You're making thousands. Yeah. Complete. Yeah. We you know. You know but then, now, if pennies compare with the with them the making crack. Crack. Yeah. 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 In different yeah. point of view, but the danger what comedy is more. Is more. Big, um, bigger. Yeah. yeah. The violence what. Thing with the one another, mm. and the thing is, it just mm. destroys the community. Then. Well, we know that the man will get robbed. And they have said that I know all about all them things, can do what you hear that thing. Yeah, yeah. So I heard that um, obviously there was police inquiries, there was a court case, oh, yes. and five people got convicted of their part in the in obviously the murder Definitely. and the affray. Um, but before then, there was a march that was raised, uh, that, that, that was uh, um, organised by Bingy, uh, Bingy Brown, Carl Oxford, Delroy, Dakers and a few other people, and a march. That I never knew about it. The march. Yeah, yeah, were they involved? I knew about that. No, I knew about it. Did you? No. Right, so there was a, you probably yeah. know Patrick mm, about you, the march. Mm, the did you go? Uh, Did you go? No, that's what I said. I was working away all the time, yeah. wasn't I? I should have been there. But there will be some, there's some news reports which we will edit into this interview. Yeah, I've seen that. And those news reports, well. you will be able to see the march. Yeah. But there was hundreds of people yeah. that took part in the march for the justice for Dexter Coleman while yeah. the trial was happening. Yeah, the court. I went. I, I, I went a witness. I went to the court. Mm. Police come for me and we were Leeds court. We were Leeds Grand Court. Uh huh. And they were, that's what I said, there were only five being convicted. Yeah. Okay. And um, so you, you actually went to court. There was a march as well. Um, mm. And obviously the court case happened. And um, obviously whoever got convicted got convicted. Yeah. But obviously in the aftermath of that, things had changed. The cafe, did it change ownership straight yeah. afterwards? Yeah, well, yeah, I was well. right. I was with mum. I it was my family still own the building. I leased the off them. So the Lennon family still, still own, own the, the, the building. The building. The, the, yeah. And then they leased it to then Bingy and Benji. Then Benji. They, 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 leased, they took over the lease then. Okay. Right of view, yeah. They took over yeah. from them. Yeah, and it lasted well, what, a couple of years. Or yeah, well, yeah. but that was still after that. You know what I was saying? The police, they, you know, but I couldn't do it. For what the, I could, but I never want for what just happened. Yeah, the, the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I'm gonna tell you, I didn't just blame the age and them. You know, the Pakistan. I didn't just. I also blame the owner people who I was dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know, they the brought them. Yeah. Oh yeah. The so, Asians were always. The they brought it to other neighborhoods. Dude. Yeah. If you like, the blacks they brought it to their own neighborhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when the Asian come in. Yeah. You know, to burn down our neighborhood, mm -hmm. our people helped them, if you like. They lit the fuse. Right. The war they, between. Yeah. It wasn't just a racist thing. It wasn't just a race it, thing. It, it was, was a, a drug. It was a, dr it was a drugs drug. thing. Right. Yeah. The race came into it because of the, oh, the yeah. you had black different Pakistan race. against the black Jamaican. against the Jamaicans. Yeah, yeah. Women say the Caribbean say Jamaican, yeah. yeah. and that was so that was the element because obviously the Asians were. Thousand to one, yeah. You know, yeah, so there was never a war where yeah. they could win. Yeah, I think, I think the younger G, the younger a uh, Pakistan guy, them now they were uh, they they selling their drugs as well. Yeah, heavy, mm -hmm. and they think they, them was a comp, especially them yard is all coming. Yeah, there was a competition to them as well. Yeah, that they wouldn't take it. And that was the trouble. Mm. And that was because the, the yard. So it wasn't care. just it wasn't just a race war. It was a drugs it's war. It's a drugs war. Mm. That mm. more the race of it because they were taking on the Pakistan, mm. yeah. which yeah. the Pakistan dominated the heavy drug scene. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah. The trouble. And the police. The the issue I have with the police. They targeted us. Oh, they always targeted the black people. The right. black community. Yeah. Even though you're outnumbered 50 to 1 in Bradford right. or more. Mm. They, they, they saw you as a, you're as a, a tiny target. minority. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hang on, okay then. Did you ever hear the same Bradford with the talk about the worst place for oil? Yeah. The yeah. capital for oil? Yeah. Bradford yeah. Worth? Yeah. Then who bring that in? Yeah. Who is the main you source mean, the heroin, of heroin? The heroin doesn't come in from Jamaica. No, all right, exactly. Yeah, all right. Exactly. They never say, you know. Yeah. And yet it was our and, community. Oh, and, but we know oil were here a long time before Mm -hmm. and what we never bought it, but then at the yard is when the crack coming now, that's how it comes. Yeah. Yeah. me no say, and, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the black community was unfairly targeted. Yeah. 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 So if you like, the we, the what we so were dealing with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For whatever up. reason, I get they saw so many that times as a walking in town. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> this was, you know, before, the, the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I said, our age group, you'll be lucky if you found even somebody in our what well, have not been stopped on a regular I, I, basis. I, I, I never mentioned until I did have the coffee. You know. I must be I don't know how many times I get stopped by police. Hmm. Even one time I went down to function to put my girl up. She was in function. Function's nightclub. Because yeah, yeah, yeah I, she was out birthday. I can't still remember, you know. Because, you know, she was, but to me, this day you know, the cafe still because function open till late. Hmm. Me never want to come. Me never so even, I know, God, yeah. Was late, so I never go. So I said, I, I won't go in. She was all with that girlfriend. Then mm -hmm. I said, I'll pick you. You give me a ring. Right, so I get a ring. So I'm going down, pick her up, and thing. Come back, go in the club, just get her. Up, 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 clay, and she lives. Where I go. Mm. We see a car behind me, going set up. So I'm this car follow. Sometimes I'm going up towards, from grey out and up to, up to Clayton. Mm -hmm. I put my feet down, bring the car, put my feet down, I mean, I got, all of a sudden, we just the police car, go up a light, uh -huh. with drug squad, they put me up, they search up me, car, they left the paperwork from the coffee and all them things, so mm -hmm. I do nothing, they don't find nothing, <laughs> and they make sure, mm -hmm. and thing and all that, but what do we mean of that? I think, is that we, just we, the we, one, no, you know, I've been mean, stuck a few times, it's a regular thing, it's just the, in, they could they did yeah. try because I was already had coffee. In the time the I was involved, it's a stereotype. That, stereotype. Yeah. yeah. After one time I big, yeah. I went and I thought to a CID. I said I was going to go. I well, I won't go to the list and all about it. And well, but instead of say you're getting bought anything, you could even get him more. I dropped it, but I went to see. But I said, listen, that's one time they said a policeman. He said to me, they know. That you don't. This is that now I'm a local, local police. Mm. You don't. He didn't know the reason why all this. And he said they know that I don't interfere with drugs mm. or even weed. Mm. So I don't know why. Why? Maybe yeah. it's like they have to so, search a certain number of stuff and searches. They have to do a tick box on yeah. a sheet. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, these were different. Cause these were drug squad who done it. Mm. Not the local. <laughs> who I went to see. Yeah. That's how come he explained it to me. Mm -hmm. And thing. so I said, well, okay, then if they might go do things like that, well, come they don't chat to you like who, who patrol uh, and who then, then, the yeah, and then my, I, I said, I could even kill my last itself. I said, no line. The first car was following me I was, was unmarked. There was nothing. Mm. And for a few minutes, I was knocking 60, 70, 80 on a normal road mm. because of that. Mm. I thought it was a madman maybe behind me. Mm. I never get charged you know, speeding. Mm. If not to do that, so we look blue light all over. That's one of the things. That's that. Yeah, yeah. Understand? They should not have done that. Yeah. No, no, true, true. So um, that's obviously how black people have been targeted. The place has been kind of changed forever. I think the Young Lions Cafe opened for about a year or two after Dexter Coleman yeah, passed yeah, away yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it closed for good. Yeah, good and then all that was left was the bookies and that eventually closed yeah, yeah. and that's it, the front line that, that's where gone, gone by about all the clubs that being closed. I think after the cafe closed, there have been people days after that upper green lane after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't remember, yeah, they'll be going up. The last one. 
The Green Lane oh, Corner. Yeah, I went up with Sarah. I was born. Oh, was she when they were the, the last one I went to when my yeah. grandkid. Mm. I went up there with one of my grandkids. And people were still, people were still on, on the Green Lane Corner. Yeah, 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 kind of revival day for it. To remind what was going what what we on. Used, yeah. What we used to do up there. Yeah. Mm. I can't yeah. remember, yeah. yeah. So I'd have been yeah, old, remember. four, three, four yeah. year old. My granddad. I'm just before my mum passed. Yeah. Yeah. Or a revival. Green Lane right? was still kind of, uh, people were still there on Green Lane. Yeah, because they did use the community centre at yeah. Green Lane. Mm. You were still, they did use the community centre, they were kind of use the toilet and thing. I can't remember that. Yeah, that mm. was the last time I, yeah. And uh, after that closed, I mean, I think the Queen's Pub was open till about 2004, yeah. 2005. Yeah, the Queen's Pub on, lower right? down on Lum Lane. No, no, that, no, no, that, no, no, that was West End. That was West End Pub. Oh, West End Pub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Queen's Pub was like very it. close. Yeah. yeah. There was a pub named Queen. That was yeah. the other side of the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And down the hill and was West Hill. Yeah. Because the West, had, yeah. West End Pub. Yeah. yeah. When did that close? God. God, there was a trouble that man kept. Stopped that inside. Day, was to be a policeman yeah. back home. There was yeah. a problem there. Yeah, no, yeah. there was a, there was issues there. But the so. same thing, they had they had issues, didn't they? Were Asian, yeah, Asian, 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 they smashed smash all the windows and all them yeah. things. Yeah. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So basically, that's the f the front line has been closed. Um, obviously, Dexter Coleman has been obviously um, the case has been closed as well. Um, black meeting places are closing left, right, and centre. Yeah. Um, so would you know with this kind of movement of the West Indian community out of Manningham from the seventies onwards, this gradual closing of um, you know the black clubs and meeting places, mm. either by the police, the council, or by petitions by the local uh, community in Bradford. Um, would it be fair in saying it was in effect like a kind of ethnic cleansing of the Caribbean community out of Manningham? Yeah. Yeah. It can, it can do because... Yeah. When it comes... When it comes something. Yeah, when it comes on stuff, yeah. I think it were a concerted effort, if you like, to mm -hmm. diversify the area. Yes. But all they done would just drive out one community One out community of and, that was and the, the other one stepped in to fill the void yeah so the afro-caribbean community who were there from day one yeah in manningham from the 50s onwards yeah they were kind of like moved, moved out of the area by a combination of council compulsory repurchases um, closures of black clubs and um, obviously there was also intimidation of the afro-caribbean community yeah. as well to some extent and you know um, complaints about your meeting places and the pubs and clubs to in, in in with a view to getting people to the police and the council to close them down. Close, yeah. Yeah. I was trying to basically in effect ethnically cleanse, you know, the Afro Caribbean community out of Manningham. Yep. Well, maybe so, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, and and disperse the community all over the place. Yeah. They didn't yeah. like to see a strong community. Yeah. Hanging round together, yeah. divide and, and then meeting your life. Divide, divide and, and conquer. conquer. Yeah, yeah. Divide and rule. Yeah. So um, that's obviously um, you know a, a community in Bradford being treated in such a way, not even responsible for the majority of you know the the hard drugs or the Mr. Bigs in the city, but being disproportionately targeted. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, for some stereotypical reason. You know, it was seen as a threat when you saw a group of black people black, on the street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, that definitely. And that's all, yeah, yeah. yeah, that is. And that's the trouble. When you were black, you were seen as a, I don't know, trouble. Yeah. If there's a few of you. Yeah. <laughs> there's two or three of you. And yeah. then you're seen as a trouble. Yeah. But, you know, that's really sad because back in the 70s when the National Front and the far-right mm. groups were around, Black and Asian people used to stick together. In fact, right, yeah. my uncles tell me that at, in the 70s, um, quite a few Asian people were afraid to fight. You never had yeah. that, that rude boy element you yeah. had you in one. the 80s and 90s. And it was the West Indians that sometimes you know, used to defend the, the Asians the against the skinheads and the national. You defend Asian shop up on Long Lane. Mm. Yeah. The, with, in the white man come to break into it and we stop them. 
Right, and this yeah. was in the 70s. This was yeah. the, the Papua was seven school. I can tell you the truth, Papua, Papua yeah. they drop it like. But yeah. I can. It was Seva school. I went to Roseway school. Yeah. Which was in Allerton. Yeah. Which was yeah. then was hundred uh, percent white. Yeah. And the Asian kids used to hang around with the black kids for Everywhere safety. You go, you for safety. Uh, for safety. Because mm. the white kids never used to pick on the black but, kids. No. Because they knew the black kids had a reputation to, to defend. Fight fight. Fight. We yeah. fight. We give them a fight. Never mind if we all number. Yeah. And then they still fight. We did. So the Asians that then you used to hang around with the black hang around kids. With so yeah. Police used to get us down. Yeah. So we used to what? We used to kind of. I want half a dozen of because if there are one half a dozen, no, what nobody will trouble, trouble you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being, so, police used to stop us a lot. Yeah, yeah. In and the even 70s. when the National Front came, it was West Indian the people. Front. Who, and the front who, line, the front line, the front line, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They had Asian man in time that they had. Yeah. I can't remember that. Mm. The had one. Yeah, but mostly it was the, black people. Black man black. there at the front yeah. fighting for them. Yeah. And that's and a so, sad thing about it. And that's part of everything you know, now. It's come full circle now where they're driving us out yet. Yeah, we're the one that'll mm. enable them to succeed. Yeah. Succeed. Yeah. You yeah. never used to see none in town. No. Mm. You mm. Did, and a fact the night or anything like that. So then they slowly yeah. they see them come to Black Man Club. Yeah. And they slowly and, build. And the sad thing also is the people that started the first ethnic clubs in Bradford was the West Indian community. Yeah. Because the Mayflower, the sugarcane, yeah. bibbies, you know, Asian people, Black, Black, Diamond. Diamond. Black, Black Diamond. Diamond, Asian, a lot of Asian people who wanted to rave could not go into oh. the town centre. No. So this provided Asian people, white people, as well as black people, a place oh, to please. boogie and have, and have yeah. a dance and, and yeah. go to a club. West Indian clubs like yeah. Inclusive with all prejudice. Yeah. So it was the West Indian clubs that allowed that social life. Yeah, we never bothered. In the yeah. 70s and the 60s. We never bothered. Yeah. All nation come. Yeah. yeah. So as well as starting the first nightclubs where ethnic people could go to, I heard the first pirate radio station. Because remember back, back in the 80s, is, yeah. they never yeah. used to play Asian or black music on Radio 1 or those no. places. So you had to have pirate yeah, stations. Like younger, late at night, you could get maybe the hard reggae and the normal radio. On BBC well, One, on Radio BBC 1. one. Yeah. 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 Ranking Miss oh. P. No, 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 no. John, Peel, John Peel, John Peel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the seventies, there yeah. was yeah. one guy called John Peel. Peel. Late Peel. At night. Peel. Late I can't remember yeah. for that listening. I sometimes give my play yeah. 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 rubbish. <laughs> but but you know what the worst thing about that was? In order to listen to those two or three yeah, reggae tracks, you yeah, have to listen to an hour's worth of punk rock. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. I'm rubbish. That's what I just meant. You're rubbish. You need to play some heavy rock. Heavy rock. rock. Ed, that, but Ed, you have to listen banger. to it in case you miss the wrong reggae, reggae yeah, track. Yeah, I used to yeah. trick it, but... Remember me, me and Radio Cassette to try and tape them and yeah. put up. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why the pirate station started, because they yeah. weren't playing all the reggae releases and yeah. all the Asian releases. And the first ethnic and minorities in Bradford to start the pirate radio was the Afro-Caribbean community with yeah. Paradise Radio. Well, look. Right, because many, many of the musicians and the people that make the music, the sound and all that, sound started going from the 60s and mm. they didn't have the connection from Jamaica with the record. Mm. So we would, eat, if we gave us go to a sound dance, we go to a blues and all, we are hearing the music. Yeah. Mm. But we couldn't get in the radio, we couldn't mm. get in none of them on the radio and things yeah. like that. Yeah. In the 70s. So the first sound system dances were the Afro-Caribbean community with yeah. scorcher sound. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the nightlife, the, the dances, the pirate radio, because I heard when the licenses were given to, Pir to Paradise Radio, they didn't give but it to the black station, they gave it to the Asian station. Asian. So again, the innovators yeah. of pirates, the yeah. radio, weren't given the license, and it was given to, the, to Asian the Asian community. community. So again, the black community was left yeah. out when yeah. it came to the pirate radio and the, and the, and the radio yeah. license. But as well as that, Roots record shop, the first reggae record shops, the first in, ethnic yeah, reggae record shops. Were in 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 June, yeah, and and I I said, well, you know, no, you me. I no, I was. Uh, I got Philip. Yeah, a guy from London linked in my family, uh -huh. and he's related to Barry. You many yeah. people, and that's where you all begin. Yes. So Barry I Roots was, started the first reggae shop, did he? He was in it. He was in the first one. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. It, it, it was, was the first one. one. Yeah, was his some first cousin of his. Yeah. Okay, and that, yeah, that, that I know how it yeah. in that. I don't want going to. Yeah, yeah, I think that but, part. Can't be in never night. 
But yeah, that was the first play the record In the 70s, the first yeah. reggae record shop, shop yeah, was yeah. Roots uh, Records. Back, Roots Roots back Roots. in the 70s. Yeah. And that was on Manningham Lane or was it? Long Lane. No, Long Lane. Lane. Was on Long Lane. Okay. Back on my Long Lane, yeah. And was there another reggae record shop after, as well after yeah, that? After, after. Where, so was, was, where was not Bingy? Um, Shooty. Didn't Shooty have one of fun? Scoot in. Or was it, was it Music Maroon? Maroon. Uh, Music Maroon on Carlisle Road. Yeah, Slackness. Slackness, yeah. Slackness, yeah. yeah. But yeah. there was a white man used to sell a regular record in the market, you know. Why, John Street? In that, yeah, John Street. Dark yeah. Ross. And yeah, he used to sell a regular record in the market. I used to go there and buy a regular mm -hmm. record. So this my, was in the 70s. So my point in bringing this up is when it came to nightclubs, when it came to pirate radio, when it came to ethnic uh, and black music record shops. Black people in Bradford were the innovators of those yeah. things. But you were left out, if you like, when uh -huh. it came to the Curry. pirate Isn't radio it? license, Curry. when it came to the nightclubs being closed down. And, you know, um, and in many ways, and uh, even Asian people have said that, to, said this to me, the, you know, the, how Asian youth in the 80s, the, the walk, the talk, the clothes, the fashion, you know, the gold chain, the gold teeth, the tracksuits, the BMWs, oh, the patwa and the wagwa, all of that, a lot of the Asian youth copied from West Indian youth. Yeah, yeah. We are you know what I yeah. mean? And yet, yes, yes, yes. They, they used to copy so much, took so much from us yeah. that you couldn't tell the difference. No, no, no. So, no, look at what, what you said, for we look what happened now. Yeah. Mm. But the black people themselves, you know? were, weren't like their culture was copied yeah you know and uh, their ideas were copied but they either were left out when it came to legal licenses like, yeah. or kind of like were not given their dues for being the innovators of so much music and youth culture in Bradford yeah it, hang on. at the moment the same thing was going on even the, the professional music people in Jamaica the same thing was because all the music of Jamaica Create, yeah. who own it, it's yeah. white man who own it, all own yeah. bloody Europe, yeah. you know, so, yeah. and if they go now, they're making yeah. hell what's going on, yeah. because, well, they out the one another, ain't it, from time But now, the, the legacy of this ethnic cleansing, if you like, is the community is now dispersed. Yeah. There's not one area where you see a predominance or even a group of people together. There's no meeting places left. The only community centres left are Checkpoint, which is in the centre of town, which is a community centre, and the Dominican Manningham. and the Dominican centre on Worthington Street in Manningham. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. That's, that's it. it. But there's no cafe, black cafes, nope. black pubs, nope. or nothing. All the pubs are the been Ivory. closed. They're the Ivory uh, Club yeah. still by. Uh, which one? Ivory. 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 Yeah. And think that's... Yeah. There's a there's a there's a black restaurant was open in Sunbridge Wells. Right. Is it, and I, I hear the club. No, I think is it it's still open? open. Yeah. It's just that Doris left. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, she left. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's a one was up but there, but yeah. that's it. There's it, a few odd takeaways. I'm sorry to say, but Bradford. Take oh, we won't like for the West Indian. In, we just seem to slip apart. Everyone's been dispersed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think no, there's no in. If you go to leave, even I feel got a better West Indian community more. Than yeah, 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 like in Deacon yeah, and yeah, Blackenhall and Chapel Town in East. Yeah, love the fire for where we were. Yeah, yeah. Chapel Town were lucky because there were so many black youths there that it was it was impossible to that to disperse it. Hmm. You know, and I don't think they wanted to spread that many black people in so many different areas at Leeds. Mm. Because our fathers, there were so few of us. Yeah. That were easy to split us up and divide us among different mm. communities. Yes. And the legacy now is that the, as this voice, the voice newspaper did an article called The Invisible Community, which you've seen. Yeah. Published this month, August 2023. And the community has become invisible. Yeah. You don't see yeah. them. You don't see groups of black youth together. Do you? Well, do you see no, them? we don't get our, our opinion asked. Ask an mm. inside the, the city of culture. Mm. You know which black black community that, have they gone to to discuss yeah, what that, do that, we that's, want from it? That, that's what I wanted to come to next because when you disperse a community like that, people's children or grandchildren don't know each other. Yeah, correct. And if you're spread out. 
who, who else are they going to um, hang around with? Not people from their own community. So it's more like uh, they're trying to dilute the community as well. Yeah. Man, keep them mixed ways where you can't see. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But they know a lot, you know, everybody, because they bring them right in and they, to the what I told you, even mm. with, you know, the coffee, even before I started the coffee, because Simon 84, you were born. Yeah. I bring him up to Green Lane. Mm. Before I was in the coffee, mm. I bring with the black people. Mm. The carnival, they never meet none. Yes. I think they all you know. Mm. And if, you know but in Bradford, you know, everybody, but what? Yeah, where it's supposed there to go. Yeah. There was him, there were Mapper. I don't know if you've heard Mapper of Mapper. Mapper in West Bowling. Ma yeah, they yeah. actually had a People's Day there yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Uh huh. You know, obviously the weather spoiled it this year. Last year we really packed. Mm. So you, you do know, get the old community. Yeah, odd few things. Thing. The yeah. thing is, if you if you put something Even, on, people will come. Yeah. But you know, I'm look look at me now. I just mean to uh, we're gonna go during the week. Uh, yeah. I'll go sit yeah. down and have a chat. Yeah. Did, you know what Mapa did what, once a year thing? Yeah, yeah, that's what, what I mean. Where, where can you go every day yeah, during yeah, the day and meet yeah. other people? I'm, I'm, no, and that's the problem. And everybody has a space and not just us. me. Yeah, what, where can I go just, yeah. you know, I'm not saying I want to go to hear me. Just to have a little chat and a look up. Yeah, they like the Young Lions Cafe yeah, served like the purpose. Serve yeah. the it purpose. was a place where during the where day the, yeah. you could go. Yeah, and thing. Even if you wanted coffee, if you even there, some people went just for company, com you know, yeah. because they knew there's always just, somebody I live there. by myself now, right? Yeah. And I just, I just don't, I just retire, just, yeah, and think, wait, you know, younger place, I can't go, maybe I bet in Africa. Yeah. And, and that's, that, yeah. that's our even legacy. That, but people that, but not even, you know? People are so dispersed. There's not even a betting shop in Manningham left now, is there? Ah, where black people where go. Black people they go. They are fed up. Yeah. You know, one and few in a town. I don't know. I'm not town, man. I've yeah, worked in town for 20 years. Town. Yeah. But I know I'm going to book in a town. Yeah. There's not that place in yeah. Manningham or Lum Lane where you could all go. Where you know people we can there. Yeah. 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 You know, mm. we all just yeah. yeah. If time to we all get together and thing and then that bloody funeral. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You you don't see each other you know, yeah. until but once one, a year, twice a year. Getting back to yeah. kid them now. My kid them. Many other uh, guys them who I know, big man like mine. They kid who I don't even know, but my kid know them. When they say, uh, my son say, oh that's his son. Oh, I friend the car. Mm. They all you didn't meet up. And some thing where we all have together will be me. Mm. We need the but they all get you know? Yeah, it's true. But um But there's none of that yeah, one and they are separate different schools. You don't see any kind of like young crews. Back in the day you used nope. to have in the seventies a young black crews. Yeah. Mm. That's what you don't see any young black no. or mixed race crews together no, in, in Bradford now, no, do you? No. Who are in their teenage years no. or in their twenties. You don't see no. that. No, no. It's no, all no. kind of dispersed. It's all, yeah, all dispersed. Intentionally dispersed. Yeah. 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 So that leads me to my uh, next question. We've seen a history of the uh, and please don't laugh at this question. Um, you've seen obviously the geographical dispersion, the ethnic cleansing, the closure of black pubs and clubs, the black community not giving its dues for being the innovators with certain music and clubs and radio. Rare, 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 rare. Yeah. Are you excited that Bradford has now <laughs> won the title of UK City of Culture 2025? If you want to swear, don't worry, I'll edit it out afterwards. <laughs> well, <muted. laughs> Well, I'm not inside. What, what does it mean for us black people? Person, at a personal level, this does not benefit the black community at all. Mm -hmm. You know, everything I've seen advertised about it, everything I've seen done about it, it does not involve the black community. Mm -hmm. So, it's that same thing, you know. If you like, blacks have been cut out of society in Bradford. Mm -hmm. You know, there's an old cliche, if you want to get anywhere in Bradford you've got to speak an Urdu language or 
connect to the Pakistan community, otherwise you just cannot prosper. Mm. You know, which is the retro word said. Mm. Well, I don't know. Because, I be, yeah, we have been, but at some part, some way, I say we blame, I blame some of we on the black people for eating up. And of course, sometimes we just lay back and let things happen. Yeah. Mm. You know, make people look stupid and we don't, you know, they We're think too individual. And, uh, what they, you know, because I know, well, the people they move the right thing to help and to help one another. Mm. It doesn't happen. Yeah. Especially Bradford. Mm. Mm. I know. <laughs> but that community spirit's gone. Gone, yeah. For yeah. Long, not now. Not a now. Good yeah, a good while. A good while. That's what I said. It started, if you like, in the, I don't know, probably 70s you when know, we started moving people about. The 70s were good. <laughs> no, but then they started moving Move, people yeah, about. Yeah, well, then the, we never did up here when maybe the country will. You know what I'm saying? One thing in the English, they see what was happening, you know. <laughs> Make it more happen yeah. before we happen. Yeah. They did space it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. In that part, maybe in that part. But mm. and then when time things start to change, we just let we, it happen. Yeah. Mm. Greed. And no, uh, it uh, all right. They that I never want they that part. Yeah. But, but just like you had that march in two thousand, what, twenty three years ago for the justice for Dexter Coleman, where you had hundreds of people. Could, could a march like that be kind of for any other similar cause be arranged today, do you feel? I think you'd struggle. I think you'd have the march, but I think a majority would be white people mm. would march. Left wing yeah. sympathizers. Yeah. Why, why did you. Is there something going on like that? No, it's more. I know, cause I know some younger people than about things with black people. Mm. And about it, mm. they've been one and few look at me. And I know I am being, but I mm. know mm. who have. Well, what it is is twenty twenty five. People forget, you know. People are excited about Bradford being the city of culture twenty twenty five. But did you know twenty twenty five is the twenty fifth anniversary of the death of the yeah. murder of Dexter yeah. Coleman? Yeah. So yeah. while they'll be celebrating. 2025, yeah. 20, it will be the 25th anniversary English, of yeah. the murder, the racist murder of Dexter Cole. Yeah. That's what I really would target. I said it would target for it. Because the amount of people who are going to was out there and he get. Yeah, he would he definitely shot. target. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, um, people are talking about the city of culture, but. Um, no, I'm not. I'm sorry to say. I said I'm a button, I look and I'm. Cause John, I look at the building and look around. I there is something that, but the cult, the you know, multiculture thing. Nah. <laughs> because you, to become, correct me if I'm wrong, to become a city of culture, right, and show the outside world, you know, that you're a beacon of diversity and community relations. You, there's got to be a history of everyone being treated equally. Do you, yeah. do you, how do you think black people have been treated in Bradford over the last 40, 50 years? That's what I said, they've been left behind, haven't they? They've been ignored. We don't have a voice, so we just stepped yeah. over. Mm. And that's the trouble, we don't have a united voice. The mm. people in the right place, the black people don't say don't no. Say, yeah, they don't shout they, for us. They don't, I'm thinking. Mm. I'm not the man in that position in them places, mm. Mm. but there's been quite a few chances for certain big things to could happen. But to change but or to speak up. Mm. But I yeah. can't, you know, I know mm. there's certain things, you know, some, and it don't happen. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And I've seen the difference, never with really the Asian, the Pakistani, I've seen things happen. I've seen how many community centers they got around Bradford. So were you saying that the council favours the majority community? But, at the Not expense of the smaller, so smaller minority. minority. Yeah. But also I'm saying, some black people in a position to go and they don't do it. Yeah. They help something themselves go wrong. rather than help the they, community. Yeah, something go wrong why they don't succeed. How come? So yeah. you're saying there's a handful of people who are high profile. Well, could I make well, that make that but, but they, but the kind of like you don't see them representing the community yeah. as yeah. much yeah. as they I should. should yeah. be. Yeah. 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 And thing I uh, they don't well what no what we mean fight like push it to go to help to make yeah. things better if yeah. the yeah. owner West Indian people over here. Yeah. If you have a problem you know yeah, you yeah. have to 
sell yourself, you, there's nobody really to go to to help you sort it out. Mm. If you, you know, think to do with government or court business or what, mm. who do you go to? Yeah. The mm. thing is, I can bet every Pakistani or what, even Indian or in Brussels got somewhere to go to for the owner. You know, the, them. the funny thing is, um, the Windrush scandal, mm. it actually proved that they can work together because Andrew Guy. He was one of the guys who sell the wind rush. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, he designed the badge and everything. Mm. <clears throat> so the thing is, there's yeah. a will there if but they the have wind, the... The wind rush is out. Not yeah, so you, the, yeah, yeah, it's it is a, a bit... But you've got a, <coughs> you've got a Bradford Bradford. thing, obviously, yeah. what, yeah. But you know, they, well, actually, they, he's living in Bradford, mm -hmm. but actually designed the flag and everything else mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. done a lot of organisation. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you think, well... You know, could we not expand on that, mm, you know, mm. come together as a community and actually be united? Yeah, yeah, no, no. You know, definitely. actually take on the, the issues. Well, when you, when you disperse a community, closest meeting places, um, etc., obviously the yeah. intention there is that you don't become a strong and united community. And we don't, yeah. The thing is, yeah. documentaries like these, and other things, if they can keep it in the front line, in the headline, mm. that's what forces people's hands. No, definitely, definitely. You know, you guilt trip people, if you like. Well, I don't know. I mean, kind of, it's more like when you have a family and you've got three kids, right? Two kids have been looked after. The third kid has been always treated harshly, bullied. Um, and not given as much love oh, as the other two. Yeah. So when there's a party and they expect all the kids to show a happy face to the guests, you really think the abused kid is going gonna, is gonna, gonna to feel like celebrating the party, yeah. celebrating yeah. City of Culture 2025? Yeah, as you said. But anyway, to wrap this up now, um, unless there's anything else no, you want to talk no. about, um, I just wanted uh, just uh, to, uh, your message to the people. So first of all, Patrick, what would your message be to people watching this? I would say it's time as a society, as a, we came together as a unit and actually work to each, for each other you know, and actually force the council to make changes to allow us our own space. And if the council came to you and said, OK, we understand what's happened to the community 40, 50 years ago, what would you ask them? Some people have asked for a, a proper Caribbean carnival once a year. Some people have asked for a community space like the Young Lions Cafe. What would you ask for? A community space uh, for like, old and young can go. You know, one nice one hour. level space where the old people can during go. During the day where you can go. Where we can go during the day. Don't want anything, mad music thing at night. Yeah. That's a lovely space for us to go yeah like the young lion cafe like the young lions yeah. 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 yeah and morris what would your parting message be to the people watching well he just said about the community a proper place where we could go yeah young old or what he just said everything. like you're saying during the day there's no yeah. way to Do go it, there's nothing to go. meet other afro-caribbean yeah. yeah i'm not talking yeah. just like the nah -ah. Play to the nightclub, no. No, just uh, something go during the day. Yeah. Tables there, you can play dominoes yeah. on pool table. Pool, uh, pool and you know, you can go Like the Young phone. Lions Cafe. Yeah, yeah. 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 A proper, a proper space. Say, yeah. Organized. Yeah. Eating, you know. Oh, Properly right. funded. Yeah. Well, um, Patrick Lennon and Morris Powell, I just wanted to say thank you today for your time. It's, the time has gone so fast. I've been no, standing no. in the same spot, listening, listening intently, and I haven't moved an inch. So, thank you, you very have much. Some good legs. <laughs> and um, you know, um, let's hope that the people who watch this take note of your story and what you had to say. So, God bless. No. Respect. Respect. Chubby, 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 chubby,
Hey, and where you doing, man? Warm girl, my food ready? They party, bro. Hey, boy, best thing you do, go on your and coffee, go eat food. That's the job, Young Lions Cafe is open again. Come again. Young Lions Cafe is open again. We sell the best in West Indian cuisine and for starters we sell bun and cheese, fried dumpling and patty. And for main course, you can get chicken and rice, that's nice, steak and rice, steak with food. Do remember we are open 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Monday to Saturday. And do remember we are situated at 163 Lamb Lane, Bradford A. See it? And you can telephone for your orders. The telephone number is 726-048. That's 726-048. Catch it.